Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Even though I've got my miracle hay fever pills, good morning by the way, my hay fever was quite bad this morning and last night and then Ryan's just coming to the office going, oh those new pills yours, when do you take them, they're not working. The, the, the pills I've taken are absolutely brilliant but it must be really, really high at the moment. Anyway, good morning, we've got a fabulous show lined up. Shall we start, I'll just do this, shall we start with today's early bird? I've got one of these, I'm getting one of these. I love it, look! What happened to the birds, Elliot? Did they tweet? We can't hear them in here, you see. Right, 3 pounds 3 pounds and 99 pence. Now, it's canvas, it's not your, um, it's not like your, I thought when I first saw it, it was gonna be one of those recycled plastic bottles. It's not, it's, um, I don't know if it says what it is. It doesn't say what it's made of, but it's like a gorgeous canvas, right? Really lovely canvas with the pom-poms all around the edge, a zip with a tassel, 
And then look inside there. Now, what are you going to keep in it? Kat was listing earlier all the things she wants to put in it. She's going to put a mask, her sun cream and a sanitizer in hers. Elliot was going to put in his treats, eating treats. Yeah. What, like a hay fever pill? Oh, yeah, I couldn't fit mine. Oh, I'm, oh no, I couldn't fit mine in. But you could fit in the one from what, that we have in the studio that Vix was using yesterday. Uh, anyway, look, it's three ninety nine, And once you've bought this and once you've checked out, that's your PMP done for the day. Doing your EPP on the move, maybe. Cat's saying, because she's just started her new EP project. Um, early bird special. Tropical design project pouch, it's called. A what? Uh, is there something wrong with the thingy? Because it's very, very quiet. Hello. You don't have to be a sewer to use this, is what uh, Kat's saying. No, exactly. You can use it for anything. I do. Look, I, look going, out, going out for a Sunday lunch. You'd have your wallet in there. Your, uh, you'd have a checkbook anymore, do you? Compact, lippy, uh, tissues, anything. Uh, you know what, Damien, you know Damien on Great British Shane he did a, he did a dress with that print on, didn't he, when they did the button through dresses. Anyway, Anne says, good morning. Judy says, good morning from a sunny St Albans. Cousin Susan says, love your shirt. June says, morning, glorious shirt. Leslie says, good morning. Susan says, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Oh, is it Wednesday? I thought it was Monday. Morning, John and team. Lovely shirt, says Laurie. Morning, John. Love the shirt. Have a great day, Sue Suzanne. Mark says, morning, John. Great shirt. Les said, morning, gorgeous, love your shirt. Oh, it's causing quite a stir, this one, isn't it? Good morning, John and all. Uh, smashing shirt, wasn't it lovely? See Vic yesterday, wasn't it indeed? Morning, says Wendy. Carol says, good morning, all. She's in again on um, Friday, I think. Oh, Sunday? No. What, what week are we in? She's in this Sunday. She's in this Sunday. And then she's in the following Friday. Uh, this cat, there's something definitely wrong with your... Because I can hear Elliot fine, but I can't hear you properly. I've turned you up now, so it's fine. 3 99 I'm not surprised. Well, lovely little gifts for 3 99 I'd buy multiple. Going to a little garden party, going to a barbecue. Make sure you stick, stick to the rules, though. I'm very, very, I'm very, very strict about things like that. I know. Three ninety nine. I know they lovely. It's canvas, lovely canvas. Um, I'll tell you how big it is. Message from Carol on my bottom. Where is it? There it is. Morning, John. Can recommend this bag. Purchased it full price and was very pleased with it. Did you buy it from here, Carol? Did you buy it from here? I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. Uh, okay, so it's eleven inches by. Nine inches. I'm going to sneeze, I think. No, 11 by 9. I am. Sorry, where's my sanitizer? I will sanitize, don't worry. Oh, it's weird how it suddenly could just come on last night. And say, it was when I was sitting watching the telly last night. Anyway, 3 I'm a what? I'm wearing shorts. That side and that side. Three ninety nine, but don't tell the management. I'm not supposed to be. I love this. Do what? Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, hang on. No, I was halfway through. I was saying, uh, right. Sue says, "Morning, John. Got this at a bigger one last time. I saw them. I used the pouch from a mini iron and pressing mat and silicon iron mat. Love your shirt. Oh, thank you." Princess, one week today till Neo comes home. He doesn't come home. He hasn't been there yet. He's stuck. Basically, Princess has got a Norwegian cat that's about this big, and she's bought another one, which is this big at the moment, but will also be that big, called Neo. Um, Elizabeth says, morning, lovely. I hope today's a good one. So do I. Jill says, good morning. Claire says, shorts again. Yep. Judith says, good morning, John. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How lovely to see you all. Now, just to warn you, just to warn you, I am in now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then Vix is in on Sunday. Then I'm in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Vix is in on Friday. Then it's my birthday weekend, the 19th and 20th of June. And then I'm in on the 21st. Then I have one day off, I think. Oh, in the 22nd as well. 
Then I'm off the 23rd, 24th, that's right. Then Wendy's in, 25th, 26th. Then I'm back in, 27, 28, 29. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 29, 30. And we've just had our July rota. You'll be pleased to know I'm not in as often. I'm only in, is it 16 times in July, I think I'm in. 16 times in July. Thank goodness, says Elliot. It's all right. He'll pay for it later. Elliot's on supposed to hoover. Mm. Oh, message from Kate. Love that shirt and the secret shorts. Looking forward to a fabulous day. Thank you, Kate. Don't shout. Don't shout her name in case her husband's watching. Shall we do panel or oh, saw Vix do this yesterday? Because I tuned in yesterday morning to see this. This is love. That was the early bird. This isn't. Oh, that's an ending, is it? Is it different to the starting? No. Okay. Right, now let's have a look at the Sting for panel of the week, then. He hasn't made it yet. It's the panel of the week. Da-da-da-da. Now, this is where Vic's launched it yesterday. It's launched on a Tuesday. And it's while stocks last. We have it. It's exclusive to Sewing Street, this. We have it at a reduced price. Now, they've not bothered putting it in the graphics. So, we're charging you $9.99 for it today. It will go up to $12.99 on Sunday night at midnight, if there are any left. It's cute, isn't it? Map of the world. I know. So, they've got, uh, they've got apparently, they've got flamingos and monkeys in South America. They've got crocodiles and reindeers. Is that a reindeer? No, moose, moose, moose for North America. We've got nothing. We've got Big Ben. That's all we've got. Then we're in Africa, they have lions and giraffes. And then in Europe, they have camels. And in Asia, they have big bears and pandas and elephants. And then in Australia, they've got koala bears. And then Antarc Antarctica. Antarctica. That doesn't look quite right, does it? Anyway, they have peng dancing penguins. <gasps> oh, did you see? Is it called a Mimi? No, what's the thing that the people send, right? I don't know if it's a meme or just a film. And it's a lady who works in a penguin uh, at the zoo, right? And she goes to feed them everyone. And there's one penguin that goes for a hug. And it runs, this little penguin runs up to her. And she rubs its tummy like that. And it goes like this. Oh, 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 like that. And it's just, the, uh, you've got to find. I, 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 it was just brilliant. What, what? She, she rubbed her tummy like that, goes like, oh, like that. It's just so cute. And he makes this funny noise. It's, it says on the film, keep your sound up. And I was like, anyway, he most, made the most gorgeous noises. Anyway, I've missed off polar bears. I do apologise. 9 99 you should be looking at this, not me. A lot of movement. I have to sit down in a minute. June said, that's a marathon, John. You'll be on, on your knees, but lovely for us. I know it's not related, but can you use the cotton fabric to make a dress? Right, Leslie, which cotton fabric? This, this, or Leslie, this, you mean, or the cotton fabric we're selling in the next hour? You can use it all, as long as it's quilting weight. Well, it's, yeah, quilting weight, you can make a dress, yes, definitely. Uh, oh, I'm exhausted now. Lynn says, good morning, John, you look lovely. Great legs, lovely shirt, nice to be popular. Your shirt looks better on my iPhone than on TV. Hang on. My, your shirt looks better on my iPhone Facebook than TV. Oh, okay. Why? What's it look like? Different like that. Let me look at me. I'll look at it on my iPad in a minute and then I'll look at it on my TV. Anyway, panel of the week. Message from Carol on the bottom. Uh, what a fabulous month. We're being sport having you on lots and my special big birthday. So going to, is it today? Is it your birthday today, Carol? 28. Oh, on the 28th, on the 28th. I thought you meant your big birthday. I thought, why, why is 28 a big birthday? This one will be going up to 12 99 on Sunday at midnight. If you go onto the website, try and search for any others, you'll see they've all gone up. I'll put that away for tomorrow because it'll be me tomorrow. Oh, it'll be me tomorrow. I was supposed to have my hair cut yesterday as well, but I had to cancel it. Uh, should I have a look at the menu? Right, okay, so the first hour is called Moda Fabrics. Well, I have got some Moda Fabrics, but I've got all sorts of beautiful fabrics for you in the eight o'clock hour. Some brand new. I've got some brand new Japanese fabric. I've got some brand new glittery fabric. I've got some old favourites. Ends of, not ends of ranges, that's the wrong thing to say, but you know what I mean? Things you've seen before, which will be out of stock quite soon. Uh, then at nine o'clock, we've got Animal Alphabet with Jules Mayouf. 
and she's making all well she, she, she's made lots and lots of things using the panels brand new panels we've got in that hour that's what she, she made the wall hanging she, oh that's a close-up of the wall hanging with that hand tied quilting she's made a cot tidy she's made some oh i haven't seen that where's that then the book I haven't seen that. Oh, no, I see. I see. Yes, I can. I thought that was a wallet. Yeah, a book. And she's made some dice or some die. Brand new panels I've got in that hour. And, 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 and to go with, to go with them, I've also got a panel of um, strips as well to go with it. So that's nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Oh, we've got Amber Makes. Amber Makes Beehive. Now, if we have a look at what uh, Rebecca reads here, so you can make a doorstop. You can make a cushion, you can, the front of a cushion, you can make the front of a tea cosy, you can make a key ring and you can make coasters all from one panel and you get it with the instructions as well. But, but we have done, I'll show you on pre-order in a minute, we've done a panel of huge fat quarters, like this they are, huge fat quarters to go with it. So I'll show you that in a minute when we do, the, when we do pre pre been pre-order. Uh, sorry, <laughs> 11 o'clock. So it's the thought of all the days I've got to do over this month. I, I thought yesterday, oh, I'll do my invoice. And I was like, John, it's only the 8th. You can't write an invoice yet. You've only done eight days. Right. Quilt as you go. Rolling Stone Quilt with Jules Mayouf at 10 o 11 o'clock. Here it is. It's the yellow and blue one. That's it. We've got that in three different colourways. It's a quilt as you go. Uh, and you make them in the, in the blocks and then you sash them together. Okay, then, as if that wasn't enough, we close down uh, at Tate Street, run all the way down the street to the Yarn Lane studio, where we've got Helen Ingram doing the woolly sheet crochet cushions. They're gorgeous. They're not here. But what I'm going to do is I will, when we do, when I do the website, after I've done all of that malarkey, we'll also go to the Yarn Lane website, and I'll show you, because they're already on pre-order. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Uh, you just email, uh, they're the ones that go through to Kat and she'll read them out in my earpiece. Oh, and I've got, uh, and Anne, Anne, if you message today, I promise Kat will read them out. Anne was very upset with you, Kat, the other day. She sent in several messages and you didn't read any of them out on the email. No. So I've told her, Anne, I've told her. Anyway, then uh, we move, you can also message me on Facebook, which are the ones I read out, which, not today. When, not you, the studio. No, no, it was when you were in last. I did, it was when we were in together last. That was all. Leslie says, thank you, darling. I just want to make my first dress. I was looking at the next fabric. Stuart says, morning, John Noel. Shock. I've gone for porridge today, not peanut butter. I blame the sunny weather. Oh, I've had avocado and boiled eggs so far today. Anyway, or you can go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. You click on watch the show live. And then you see to the right-hand side there, there's a box that says Send Message Studio. You can write in there, and they're the white ones that come across the bottom. Now, uh, I apologise if we don't read all of those out, but so many come in. And if more than 10 come in at a time, the bottom one falls off the screen. So Cat and Cat can't read. And also Cat aunt, Cat can't answer you on those, or Hannah, Cat and Hannah, whoever's producing, cannot answer you on those. So please don't ask questions that you're expecting a reply to. Anyway, scroll down the page. You'll see there's today's early bird, which is also our bestseller today. Now, you see there are two columns. There are today's show, isn't it funny that sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't. There's today's show deals on the left-hand side. However, on the right-hand side, it's everything we've got for the next four hours for Sewing Street. Look, there's the new Japanese fabric. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, look. So I can say, some old favorites there, some brand new, uh, some end of ranges. That's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. There, look, all this, and oh, 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 I've got to tell you, the um, Balboa Park ones, it's the first time we've had them in the half metre. So you've had them in pre-cuts before, but you've never, ever had them. Right, then, oh, that's the, the, bow, the Balboa quilt there. Then we move on to, hang on, what sewing machine's that? <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. One left. I know I said that when I came in the day before yesterday. What happened was that one sold and then two people from the day before hadn't checked out. They didn't, they, for some reason, they didn't check out. So uh, Vix had three when she started the show yesterday. We've now got one. There's now one 570A left if you want it. It's a lovely machine. Anyway, sorry, go back to... So carry on, carry on. So there's the panels, the pastel and the brights. 
There's the bundles. Oh, and where's the strippy bundle? Where's the strippy one? There it is, there it is, there it is. Look, isn't it lovely? And then we've got Amber Make. So there's the, there's the, uh, that's the, you get the kit and the panel in that one there. You can buy, now look, here it is, the fat cord. Look, so if you love the, the corresponding um, fabrics, you can now buy them. So many people messaging going, oh, why haven't you designed any fabric to go with? Well, we have now. Then uh, we're back to Jules Mayouf then doing Quilt As You Go. There's the three different colorways. Lovely. Then we, we shut them, right? And then we all run all the way down the street to Yarn Lane. Now, the way to look at the Yarn Lane thing is exactly the same. You go to www.yarnlane.com. Go to the website, click on the Watch Live Show. Looks exactly the same. There's a message you can send in there. Look at these lovely cushions. Oh, now, which one's your favourite? What's that one bottom left? What's that? Why is that one different? Oh, that one's not been made up yet, that one there. So which one's your favourite? Oh, that's my favourite. That's the rainbow one, that one. Aren't they lovely? Mind you, that's nice. Oh, no, that's nice. Anyway, you can buy them now. If you can't stick around till 12 o'clock, you can buy them now. And then all you'll need to do is watch the demonstration on YouTube later on. But buy them now so you've secured them, done them. Make sure you check out, though. Do make sure you check out. I've just seen myself on another screen there thinking, what's Wendy Orlando doing in? But it's, the, it's on the website. It's showing me and Wendy Orlando, me in a red shirt. Right, shall we start? Shall we start then? I've got a whole lot to get through, haven't I? Going to start with the new Japanese fabrics, right? Right, so I've got those and I've got these. They're not a bundle. There's no bundle. Aren't they lovely? These are so metallic-y, these ones here. So I'll do those first. Starting with the cream. Look, oh, that's nice. Now it's 44 inches wide. It's machine washable. I don't know if you'll be able to see the um, the glitter on there. It's not glitter stuck on the top. It's like um, it's like a gold um, printed dye made in Japan. These are, aren't they cute? Can we come in a bit closer, Elliot? See the pattern? Because look, you can see the little um, chariots in there. You got flowers. They're all. Everything is surrounded in gold. Everything is um, highlighted in gold. Samantha's had a whole bar of chocolate for breakfast. What's the zoo program I watch? It's called Secret Life of the Zoo, Lynn. And Lynn likes the pink one, the pink crochet cushion. Isn't it lovely? Half a meter for oh six ninety nine. Oh no, with your metallics and everything. Pretty. And each of the carts are either purple or green. <coughs> there's black in there, there's green in there, there's orange in there, there's red. Oh, hang on, what's Karen in Kent want now? Hi, John. Just found the penguin video. How cute. That was a very good impression. Thank you. They thought I was gone, I'd gone crazy in the gallery. And the next one which is the one with the black background. Very dramatic, says Kat. Same fabric, just a different coloured background, look. Nice, isn't it? That's it, nice and close too, look. Thank you, Elliot. Isn't that lovely? Um, Lynn, just so you know, the secret life of the zoo isn't where the penguin was being stroked. I think the penguin being stroked was in China or somewhere like that. Six ninety nine for half a metre. Brands banking new today. Let me hold this one up for you. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? The colours are just adorable. I think my black, the black one's my favourite of those two. Little pink cushions, anything. EPP. Um, or you can make a shirt or a skirt out of it, something like that. Beautiful. Now I've got three other brand new ones. These are lovely. These are going to fly, these are. So I've got fans, right? I've got it in the red, 
in the blue and I'm, I'm not quite sure what colour that is. What are you muttering on about now, Elliot? Oh, it's black, they've called it. Red first. Now, what's lovely about it is it's not a bright, vibrant red. It's a lovely brick red, isn't it? Six ninety nine. That's called Japanese fans red metallic. Oh. Now, I don't think it's metallic. I can't see any metallic on it. There's no metallic on this, so I don't know why, why they've called it metallic. Let me put my glasses on. No, there's definitely no metallic on there. Oh, underneath it. There's definitely no metallic in there, Elliot. No, there isn't any. There isn't any. I thought maybe the um, fronds on the fan might be, but they're not. But they're not. Marina says, good morning. Mm, next one. Which one would you like to do next, then? Blue. I'm still having trouble hearing you, Kat. So I'm just going to turn you up. Elliot, just remember I've turned her up now, so don't you be doing your shouting. This is a beautiful, it's more like periwinkle, this, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. The blue is quite more vibrant than the red look. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? 100% cotton made in Japan. Black and blue, that's all there is in there. Obviously the white, just off-white background. There's no metallic in it. Absolutely no metallic. Oh, actually, could you put that on the um, thingy? Oh, you've done it already? Okay. Cat's always one step ahead of me. Oh. Lovely, though, isn't it? Japanese fans in the blue. 6 dollars half metre. 100% cotton, machine washable. And finally, it's happening to me right now. I'm not playing. I just gonna hide it. This is just, well, it says it's just black, but there's definitely like a grey. That's like a charcoal grey, isn't it, there? No, no, it, I, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a dark blue, but it's, there's no blue in it. It's just, just black and charcoal grey. Karen from Wigan says, Morning, John. Let's look at that fabric. Looks almost as gorgeous as you. Did you have a lovely birthday, Karen? Karen in Wigan's 49th birthday yesterday. I know she had a lovely day. She had champagne. She had went out for lunch. She had a new frock on and some new shoes on. She got loads of presents. Anyway, this is lovely. Did you what? Yeah, she obviously did. She make the frock. I nearly said something naughty then. Suzanne, good morning, John, Cat, and Elliot. Loving the shirt. Thank you, Suzanne. They're the new Japanese. Let's get on now with the modas. Where would you like to go first? All of this side of the table is moda. Babo Megamoto. Now, we've never had this fabric by the half meter. You might have seen it in uh, pre-cuts because Wendy made a um, quilt out of it or quilt block out of it. This is a mega bundle of half a meter of everything that we've got from the collection. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seven meters. But you get a half meter for free. Beautiful. So I'll just take you a quick flick through them. So you've got your blue, you've got your white on cream, you've got your big, lovely minty colour with big flowers, you've got your lovely paisleys. Then you've got that blue from earlier with paisley on it. Now you have seen this one by the half meter before. Because it was in the quilt, it was in the quilt kit. Look, that's from the quilt kit there. But you've never been able to buy it on its own before. Then you've got the paisleys in the, the, the pale terracotta. Then you've got the big flowers on cream. Then you've got the little flowers on the minty colour. That that's lovely. This was Hannah's favourite. This one of the whole collection. They're either daisies or big sunshines. Then you've got your little ditzy print on three, two different colours. Then that's the same as the lilac one from before. And then isn't that beautiful? 90 pounds and 87 pence. Oh, what? Already? I've got fewer than 10 of these. I've got eight. Got eight of these left, that's all. That's all. So now, you get half a metre of every single one. You, uh, you get one for free. You get one of them for free, which is a fantastic deal, isn't it? You get one of these for free. 
it, but however, if you're thinking, oh, what a shame, I'd love to make a frock out of that one. In a minute, I'm going to do them by the half metre, but some of them are quite limited. Or that's all I'm going to say. I will sort them out into patterns. Donna says, good morning, John and team. Loving your shirt. Thank you very much. And Karen had a fabulous day. Yeah, Karen. Karen, this time next year, you'll be 50. Just think about that. I'll be 60. I'll still be 61 this time next year. Right, okay, let me just put them into patterns. Paisleys. Paisleys. Little sprig, little sprig. Paisley. Flower. Oh, no, that, oh. Is that the same as that one? No, that's not the same as that one. That's the same as that one. That's that one. And that's... Oh! Oh! I'll have to check the codes. Whoever unpacked yesterday. Oh, pfft. Oh, Elliot. Elliot did it yesterday. Is that that one? No, no. Is that that one? No. Right, okay. So these three are all just on their own. That pile there are all paisley, that pile there are all big flowers, that pile there are ditzy, and that pile there are silhouette. Big flowers first. Right, so here they are, which are the big flowers on. Now, I seem to remember them calling this background a strange colour. What have we called it? Charcoal, they've called it. It's only six, now hang on. This is a mode, the fabric should be 6 99 for half a metre. Just so you know, this should be, I don't know why. Maybe we've got a good deal and we're passing it on to you, but mode of fabrics are usually 7 49 for half a metre, not 6 99 Now in the mega bundle, you get half a metre of each and if, even if you multi-buy, you still only get them cut into half metre pieces. This is your chance to get it off the bolt. We will cut the amount that you want. So if you want three metres, we will cut a piece of three metres in size for you. Six nine time. Remember we sell by uh, half metre increments. Oh, excuse me. Gorgeous fabric this morning. Love in the moda, says Hilary. It is lovely, isn't it? And the next, got lots to get through. Kat saying we're going to hurry along. So we've got it in the cream next. Cream. Six ninety nine again, half a metre. Oh, ivory. They've called it ivory. It's definitely a cream. It's not ivory. Cream. What's the matter, Kat? What butterflies? Where can you see butterflies? That's not a butterfly. Oh, maybe. It, no, it's a bud. If it's a butterfly, it's got no head and no antlers. No, no, butterflies don't have antlers, do they? They're leaves. I was going to say, I can't see any butterflies. They're lovely, though, aren't they? And they, the, the lovely thing is, is they stay purple. Or, oh, no, that, I've, tell, I've told a fib. I was going to say they're purple on all of them, but they're purple on that one. They swapped the colours around on this one. Beautiful. They've called it blue, have they? Light blue. It's green. It's definitely green, this one. Carol's loving my shirt. Thank you very much indeed, Carol. I should really order some new shirts for my birthday show, shouldn't I? Well, no, they come the next day. Yeah. Get them from, well, this one's not a Claudio Lugley. This is a Jensen somebody or other, but I normally come from Claudio Lugley. They're the three big florals. Now we're going to do the Paisleys. So again, these come in the same three colourways as the as the other one. Now, this is the only one that's got multicoloured on it. The others are single colours on single colour, whereas this is the only multicoloured paisley. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm seeing a skirt in that one. Remember, the 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. And only 6 99 for half a metre for a mode of fabric. I know. They've called it Paisley on Charcoal, but Charcoal's pushing it a bit. Mm. 
and the next one, which will be the... I am going through them quickly only because I've got... Look how much I've got to do in half an hour. Well, less than half an hour now. So what colour did they call this one? Coral. Yeah, I'd go with that one, coral. Soft coral, pale coral. They're all going to work together so beautifully, aren't they? Which you already know because you've loved the pre-cuts of all of these. First time we've had it by the half metre though. Now I've got this in the, have they called it light blue? No, they can't have done. Right, okay, so this is called light blue and this is called light blue. Okay. But they, are good, they all go together, tonally they're perfect for each other. I'm just saying it won't be, it's not the same colour. It's pretty that, those paisleys, aren't they? I like the way they put, like, kind of scales almost on the paisley. Okay, so then next I've got these two. Oh, no, I'll do the next three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll do the one that's in three. These are the ones that I call, like, silhouette. These are pretty, aren't they? Look. Love this colour. I'll do that one first, actually. I don't know what colour you've called it. Lime, shutters. Oh, pistachio. I don't eat nuts, you see, so I don't know that. It's lovely. Those three together look beautiful, don't they? Anyway, this is the 6 99 pistachio. Small petals. Pour small petals on pistachio. There's leaves there as well. Lovely. Oh, you're directing that as well. Elliot gone for a break already. Six ninety nine. Very lovely, fine detailing in there. And now the next colour, I'll do the purpley one next. I don't know what colour they've called it. Puce, I think I'd call it, or mauve. Do you want the code? Oh, orchid. Orchid. I mean, you can get orchids that colour, but you can also get orchids in white and in pink and all sorts, can't you? Somebody who's been a bit poetic that morning, weren't they? Could, could also be the motor colour. Hmm? But it's motor fabric, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight for 6 99 for half a metre. It is your chance to buy it off the bolt. It's the first time we have had it on the half metre. Now, you won't be able to see this one. This is white on lemon. Look, cream they've called it. Can you see underneath there? It's the same print as the two I've just shown you. Oh, you can just see it there, can't you? It's pretty, isn't it? 6 99 for half a metre. I was going to say this would look lovely uh, for wedding, uh, wedding things, you know, like wedding tableware and things like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Very, very subtle. Oh, you can see them there, can't you? Look. I just checked my nails because I cut my nails last night. Couldn't really see what I was doing. Oh, that one hasn't been done properly. And do you remember us? Oh, you went here the other day when I was with um, Hannah. Kat, I sat on my finger somehow when I got on that stool. And they all laughed at me. It's completely and utterly bruised and tender. And I, I don't know how I've done it. Right, next. Oh, which one? The pistachio. There's only two metres of pistachio left now. Six nine times half a metre. Told you some of them were limited. That's very popular though. Then I've got the... Oh no, I've got the two on their own here. To, the, not the two on their own. The two here with the like, little sprigs of cow parsley. Which one are you going to go to first? The peachy, apricotty one first. That's nice. That's got a lovely vintage feel to it, that one. Dandelions on coral. Oh, they're dandelions. They're not cow parsley. Sorry. Oh, good morning, John and everyone. Bright here in Derbyshire. A bit late today as my son beat me to the bathroom. Oh, Susan. So that's dandelions on coral, that one. 
And then I've got dandelions on light blue. Oh, ocean, this one's called. Ocean, they should have had this one yesterday for National Ocean Day, shouldn't they? Six ninety nine. This is six ninety nine for half a meter. This one's flying out. This one. Jane says, "Morning, John. Bright sunny day, just like you." Oh, Jane, old and haggard day, don't you mean? Oh, thanks, Elliot, for your support there. Okay. Right now, I've got the three that we don't have. Uh, oh no, this is dandelions. This is the same. Have you got the, got the code? Oh, we don't have that one listed. That one's not listed anywhere. Oh, but hang on, hang on, hang on then. But it's in the mega... Oh, maybe it all went in the mega bundle. Maybe it was so limited that it went all... Because you can get that in the mega bundle. You just can't buy it by the half metre. So let's do the flowers on the light blue. Pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. And then Hannah's favourite. Now, is it sunshine or is it flowers? Sun kissed on ivory, it's called. It's definitely not ivory, it's cream. Eight. Four metres, this one left. There's only four metres, this one left. So what did you say it looked like, Elliot? Okay, he thinks it's droplets of paint with ripples. Okay. Yeah, you sit there quietly in the corner, Elliot. So that's the whole thing. Now, remember, I've got the Mega Bundle. Mega, just a reminder of the Mega Bundle. You get all of this, but you do get half a metre for free if you buy the Mega Bundle. And that one there, where's it gone? That one there is only available in the Mega Bundle, as will that one be in a second, because that's about to sell out as well. So somebody, somebody missed a Japanese fabric. Which ones do they want to see? Oh, new ones, new ones. Sorry, sorry, I didn't get that. Someone's just saying you, you didn't finish the Japanese fabric, so I'll do that now. So I've got tigers and I've got koi carp. Tigers, koi carp. Now, some of the pictures on the web for the tigers will be a bit odd because Hannah took them. So just be wary. So which one do you want to go to first? Koi carp first. So I've got this in red and I've got it in blue. We'll do the red one first. Now this one has got metallic on it. You can, I mean, you could try putting those with them if you wanted to. Let's have a look. I might be a bit busy. Let's have a look. That wouldn't go with that one. You could sort of mix those two, I suppose. Lovely, isn't it? 44 inches wide, machine washable, made in Japan. Say that again. No, the red, the red fans is a different red. Next colour. Blue koi carp. Yeah, I wonder why this wasn't in Ocean Day. There, isn't it lovely? Sharon says, very sunny in Hemsworth today. Might take the laps laptop outside to work. Oh, how lovely. Oh, cats overheats, she says. Now we're going on to the tigers. There you go, so we've got it in blue, we've got it in black, we've got it in grey, and we've got it in gold. Now this is lovely because this has got a texture to it. We Let's start with the blue. Again, 44 inches wide, machine washable. 
Now it's got a kind of linen-esque feel to it. It's not, it's 100% cotton, but it's got a really lovely texture to this one. Think they look angry or hungry? Are we not doing any graphics? That's right. 749 for half a metre. Sume Tigers on navy. Gorgeous. It means ocean, I think, doesn't it, Sume? I can't remember. Someone did tell me last time I did it. Black. This one's very dramatic. No, 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 you can make a shirt or a dress or a skirt or anything out of this one. It's a lovely, lovely fabric. Little Paul would like this in a short sleeve shirt, I think. And matching shorts, obviously. Well, he's not going on holiday this year, is he? So he might not want to need them this year. Mind you, he's doing lots of walking, isn't he, around Birmingham? So he will get a bit overheated if he's still wearing his trousers. There we go. Then he's what? He's going off what? Oh, yes, those... I never understand that. Uh, all the Vitality shows, they used to sell them by the hundreds, didn't they? 749, this is the grey one. Oh, well, that's lovely. Right, so what I was going to point out, you see, the blue one has got pale blue leaves. The black one has got grey leaves. This is the only one that's got green leaves in it, which I think adds an extra depth to it, hasn't it? Then finally, it's happening to me right now. Here we go. This is be No, this one's got grey leaves. On the mustard or the gold, is it? Yellow. Yellow. This is Elliot's favourite, but don't let that put you off. Oh, Mary's done a review on this one on FIFO. Uh, beautiful material. Love the pattern and the colour choice. Thank you, Mary. Blue, Elliot. I think blue's your favourite colour. Moda Homegrown Salsa. Is this Mega Bundle? Oh, there. I'll turn it that way if it's much neater that way. You get three and a half metres. One, two, three and a half. Lovely, isn't it? And you can make things like this little cushion. Dawn Taylor made this, we believe. And she's in this week. Uh, is it this week? Uh, hang on, which week are we in? I'm so confused. Next week, next week, next week. Oh, is that what it is? Tool roll. Oh, barbe barbecue tool roll, that one with what, one touch fastening on it there. It's a nice idea to keep, because otherwise you just leave them on the barbecue and you come to it the next summer, don't you? And it's all... Thank you, Elliot. Thank you. Limited on the bundle. There are 10 left. That's it. Also, when they've gone, they've gone. When they've gone, they've gone. Have I got any of these fabrics by the half metre? I've got them all by the half metre. I'll have a quick romp through those. But that's 51.99 for all of those. By the half metre, stripes. I like this one. They're all different size stripes, aren't they? But the black highlighted. Also, they're not solid. It looks like you've, somebody's done them with a paintbrush. So that one there is uh, 7.49 for half a metre. I told you, mode of fabric, 7.49 by half a metre. As it should be. 100% cotton. Right, now I'm going to do the chilies on red. Homegrown salsa. Du, 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 salsa. Bunting. Uh, serviettes. When you're doing your barbecues, because there's lots of hot weather coming. And you're allowed in gardens. Stay to the limit, you're allowed. 
Oh, Kat doesn't even know 30 people. Why, Elliot? You wouldn't want 30 people. I've got the same thing on black now. Chili's on black. I love the swirls going round. Oh, apparently Freeview's gone off. I think that might be Freeview, Susan, not us. Beautiful, isn't it? 44 inches, uh, 44 inches wide. What's the matter, Elliot? It's all right. It must be yours, Susan, my love. We've just checked. On white. This is nice. I think I like the white one best, actually. Which is unusual for me. They're lovely drawings. Very simple drawings, aren't they? Yeah, that swells, yeah. Oh, yeah, if you make chilli chili chutneys and things, you can put these on the top. You know, they do the pink edges around the top. What could you make, though, with chilli? Do you make chilli chutney? Oh, Ellen's free view's fine, Susan. It must be just yours, my love. Chilli sauce? Can you make chilli sauce? Salsa, cilantro, what you need is you see six medium banana peppers. Oh, maybe they're peppers, not chilies. Look, they could be banana peppers, look, there's a picture of them on there. Anyway, you need six fresh peppers, three quarters of a cup of cilantro, two small onions, quarter of a cup of lime juice, three medium ears of corn, and some jalapeno chilli peppers. Oh no, there they are, they're definitely jalapenos, look. Jalapenos. Oh, and then we lose the rest of the recipe. Uh, one tablespoon of crushed chili peppers. Two pounds of tomatillados. Salt and pepper. Oh, so that's make salsa. I see, that makes salsa. But then that one, you need four ripe tomatoes, some garlic, some peppers. Oh, I'd love some fresh um, guacamole right now. And the next one, same one on white. Where's this hour gone? Got loads still to get to, look, on the side table. Anyway, look. What's a poblano chili pepper? Poblano. Oh, they're the green ones, are they? Hot, hot. I don't really like chilli. And then last but not least, we've got it on the red. I'm not very good at spicy. When I used to go to Ken and Barbie's for dinner, they'd always have, re like, they'd have a bowl of chilies that they used to sprinkle on everything. And they made a pasta once. And I sat there and, and, like, near, and I said to Barbie's mum, is it not blowing your head off this? And she went, I've got no taste sensation. I don't know what this tastes like. And I was like, it's really hot. This is nice, the red one, isn't it? Seven forty-nine. So what? It was corn on the cob with lime and chili. Oh, seven forty-nine. How did you cook it? Just boiled it. Oh, oh that sounds horrible. Okay, let's move on. Which one? This, now, wouldn't you think this was Moda? Look at these fabrics. Moda traditional, you'd think these were, wouldn't you? They're not Moda at all, but they look like Moda, don't they? If you love a traditional, traditional colour palette, £99.99 pence. For 24 fat quarters, you will be able to get on split pay look. Five pounds a fat quarter. Beautiful. These are Abby's treasures, fat quarters, 24 of them for 99 99 
beautiful, aren't they? Look at all those traditional, lovely prints and colours in there. Okay, next one. That's what they've got. Not got next one. Mode of back porch, which is this one. You're loving this now. These must be really, really, really low in quantity now. Five of these, that's all I've got. That's it. When they've gone, they've gone, they've gone. Yours will come tied up and everything. So we've had this one open, you see. Look how many fat quarters you get in here. 30 for your 99.99, which means they're £3.33 each. For mode of fat quarters. Beautiful, aren't they? Yet yeah, now, I've, have you planted your tree for next year's Jubilee? Plant a tree for the Jubilee. Yeah, everyone's going to plant a tree for the Queen's Jubilee. 70 years on the throne. Beautiful, aren't they? That arm's aching now. Do this one. It's like weight training, this. I'm dreading going back to the gym for a proper session for the first time. It hurt my legs just filling the tumble dryer yesterday. The boiler man came. Nothing wrong with my boiler, so it's good for another year. He had to, he had to replace my cathodes or my nodes or something like that, he said. Do I mean, no, I don't know if, he, I don't know if that's the word. And I said to him, um, he arrived obviously wearing his mask, and I said to him, I'm going upstairs to work, my office is upstairs, you can work down here, take your mask off if you want. Anyway, he didn't, he kept his mask on the whole time. And he was sanitized, they have to even if I'm not there. And the, both the doors were open in the kitchen, all the windows were open. Oh, okay, I didn't realise. I'm still going on, look, I'm still going, look. All of these, you get all of these for your 99.99. 30 fat quarters, a couple have gone into baskets, nobody's checked out yet, so there's still five available. The which one? Oh, I love this book. I love this book. Now, if you've got, if you've got that fat quarter bundle, this, it's going to really suit this. This is 48 quilt along blocks by different contrib contributors. Lisa, Betsy, Lynn, Joe, Jan and Carrie. So what it is, is you've got 48 blocks. Look, 48 different blocks. So you can make a sample quilt. You could make a... Oh, look! You could make that, the fabric that we've got coming up in Beck's Hour. Not the next hour, the one after that. But anyway, these are all the blocks, right? There's 48 of them. All different blocks. Look at the lovely traditional fabrics they've used for them. Oops, sliding all over the place, this book say. So they're all your blocks, right? But then what they do is they've got the designers to create a, their own quilts from these blocks. So hang on, I'll get there in a minute. 48, right, here you go, the quilt plans. So there's Betsy's. She's done sashing and cornerstones in the navy blue. Then you've got uh, Joe's. Then you've got carries. You see how they're, they're the same blocks, but look how different they look. She's put flying geese look in between all of hers. Then you've got Jan's. Again, completely different look. Like a medallion quilt there. Then you've got Lisa's. Again, very different. Using the blocks in this book. And then you've got Lynn's. Lynn's looks like a traditional old tapestry, doesn't it, that one? We love this book. Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. You can do this with any fat quarters, any fabrics you've got, anything like that. Brilliant. Right, do not go anywhere. We've got Jules Mayouf coming up next. She's got we've got brand new panels to make dice, books, wall hangings, a cot tidy. All the fat quarters we didn't get to, we will run through the, I've got the Jen Kings well there. I've got some more Moda over there, beautiful. Uh, I'll, and there's a quilt kit as well. There is a quilt kit that went to Orlando 
uh, did the. I'll show you. I'll show you. Show you very quickly. Won't won't put the graphics through. But look, this is what that, this is what that Bilbao fabric would look like in one in that block. It's lovely. There's a kilt. There's a, there's a, if you've got the fabric, you can do that of your own. Or there's a quilt kit there as well. <coughs> right. Don't go anywhere. Jules Mayo coming up in three minutes from now. Hi, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her. Um, she was a dressmaker and I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself and from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day, and if things do go wrong, then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012, I was a VIP driver with the Olympics, and I met some really interesting people who were very nice, and I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Jules Mayouf is back in. I don't think I've seen you since Christmas Day. No, I know. Have I? I'm not wearing that suit in the summer. Sorry. No, exactly. <laughs> no, I must have seen you since then. But you've been uh, doing lots of Mondays with Rebecca Reid, have, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I have. I've been trying to keep Rebecca in order. Oh, OK. I thought you guys have been trying no. to keep away from you. No, no, not at all. <laughs> oh, OK. That's nice. Thank you. Anyway, before we start, we do any demonstration. Well, I'll show you what Jules has made with, with these panels, right? So she's made... There we go, that's a wall hanging that has been uh, hand tied, quilted. Uh, then we've got the little cot tidy there, which comes from the book that I've got called So Baby coming up later. Then she's made this, which is like a little booklet thing. Learn your letters. Then she's made, oh, that's the other side of it. Then she's made these lovely little play dice. So you've got all that. Now these are brand spanking new panels, exclusive to Sewing Street. Now, we've got them in bundles, but you can also have them on their own as well. So I'll do the bundles first of all. And this, this is gorgeous. These are strips, like two and a half inch strips. No, it suddenly got, there was suddenly like a noise. Like I thought, yeah. Right, so let's do this bundle first. This one. So you get your meter of your red and your polywadding. Upside down polywadding. And you get the panel. Now, I know it's the panel that you're interested in, so let me hold this up for you, look. Brand new, brand new and exclusive to Sewing Street. There you go. So you've got A for apple, B for Ben, C for crocodile, D for dolphin. You've got E for elephant, F for flamingo, G for giraffe, H for helicopter. You've got I for igloo, J for jellyfish, K for koala, L for lion, M for monkey, N for that thing with that, what's Narwhal. called it? Narwhal. What? Narwhal. Narwhal. <laughs> o for octopus, P for panda, Q for queen, Elliot, R for <laughs> roundabout, S for snake, T for tree, U for umbrella, V for carrot, no, Vegetable. V for vegetables, <laughs> W for whales, X for xylophone, oh, it's all, they always do xylophone, don't they? Then look, you've got hashtag, Y for yacht, Z for zebra, and an anthesan. All in your bright colours. Let me just put that down for you. Oh, that hurt my arms holding that up. <laughs> there you go. Look, aren't they lovely? And you get a great big panel of white down the side as well. Look, so you've got plenty of stuff that you might want to sash with or something like that. So it's the multi-alphabet panel. You get the panel, one metres of the red fabric, and you get the wadding. All that for £23.99. £23.99. Uh, should I... Do the panel on its own or the other kit? Right. If you want the panel on its own, you can do. This is just the panel now in the bright. £14.99. £14.99. That's brilliant, isn't it? Crazy Lorraine says that. Morning, John. Lovely projects. It is, aren't they lovely? Lorraine, you've got about 400 grandkids. You could start making all these for, haven't you? <laughs> Anyway, that's lovely. That's the panel on its own. That's the brights, right? Then I also have it in the... I don't know if we called it pastel. Pastel. So I've got the bundle, first of all. So you get the wadding. Now you get the lovely kind of lilac, lavendery, plus the pastel panel. The, past, the panel is exactly the same, just in more pastel tones. So the letters and all they stand for are all the same. There you go. Oh, that's pretty. Now, you see, normally I like the brights best, but I'm thinking I quite like the, um, the pastel one of this one. It's pretty, isn't it? So that again, Kat, if you've got this and another panel, yeah. Oh, she said it makes it into a wall hang. So if you bought two, use one as the background and then you fold the other one over and make little pockets, different size pockets. Or even better, you could buy some of the PVC which they had on this week and put clear pockets and you can see what's in the pockets as well. Oh, now we found a mistake. This is not a whale, apparently. It's an orca. Is it not an orca whale? Hmm. Still a whale. Oh. Anyway, shall we then move on to just the panel on its own? Just the panel on its own now, in the pastel tones. 
The Brights are winning at the moment, and we haven't put these in yet. These are now a little overtake, I think, now. Pastel Illustrated Alphabet Fabric Pan. Look, it's 140 by 117. Exclusive to Sewing Street. Well, yeah, well, I don't know why it's not 19.99 either. I think it should be, but there you go. 14.99. 100% cotton. Oh, maybe they're taking up your um, your tip then. People are multi multi buying. It's very pretty, isn't it? I also think the giraffe should complain. Let me just show you the giraffe. Look at his legs. They've got really, really long legs because when they bend over, they have to kind of splay their legs to bend <laughs> over, don't they? He wouldn't need to. Carol on my bottom. What's she saying? Perfect Christmas gift for my new grandson. There oh. you go. It's never too early to talk about Christmas. Lovely. Well, that's very organised. Mind you, we are almost halfway through the year, aren't we? Uh, right now, I've got this other panel here, right? Not in any kit or anything like that. This feels huge, right? <gasps> oh, this is lovely. Right, look. So these are two and a half inch strips. Oh, you see, I didn't get that. No, you <gasps> see, Jules didn't get Now, this well, is weird. Jeff. Have we not got, have we only got it in the one colourway? So we didn't get a pastel and a, and a bright. It just came, in fact, they're different colours, aren't they? That's why. Aren't they? Lo look at these. They're gorgeous. 19, oh. No, this should be nineteen ninety nine as well. Exclusive mm. to Sewing Street, fourteen ninety nine. The strip panels are normally nineteen ninety nine, aren't they? Okay, let's just look at the size of it, right? How am I gonna let I'm gonna stand up, right? Look, look at the size of this panel. It's enormous. 14 99 100% cotton, machine washable, exclusive to Sewing Street. There's no way that should be 14 99 Doesn't even fit on, look, look, I have to do it on camera two days. Doesn't even fit on camera one. Let me just measure it. It's got the measurements on there. Yeah, 140 by 109. So it's 55 inches wide by over a metre drop. That's amazing, so isn't it's it? a metre and a half, a metre by a metre and a half. Yeah, a metre yeah. by a metre and a half. Near enough. Yeah. So, yes, it's 55 inches, that. Beautiful. That's good, isn't it? Loads. Oh, they, it says it there, 55 by... <laughs> N, it's narwhal, apparently. Narwhal. I had no idea what one was until we did them at sewing quarter, and I was like, what is this, like, dolphin with a thing on the end of it? <laughs> Then, and they're real, they live, they do. They were on the David Attenborough, they live quite deep down in the water, don't they? And they've got the, they're quite aggressive, they're quite aggressive, aren't they? Anyway, oh, Antarctica, oh, I thought they were in the Caribbean, in Antarctica, <laughs> apparently. Right, okay. Oh, in the book, the book, the book, I think it's because we have to go to Jewel soon, don't we? This is a lovely book now called So Baby by Debbie Shaw, one of her millions of books. 20 cute and colourful projects for the home, the nursery and on the go by Debbie Shaw. Right, um, 9.99. Right, so what have we got in here? So we've got a knotted headband, a hooded towel, a play mat, a Moses basket, a cot bumper, a baby nest, a bandana bib, a chair harness, a balloon mobile, a laundry bin, nursery store. Oh, excuse me, hiccup, strawberry, uh, not strawberry, nursery storage, stroller bag, stroller sleeping bag, ta travel changing mat, cot pocket, that's what we've made, or Jules has made, insulated bottle bags, <laughs> so when it gets a bit much, you can keep your wine cool, patchwork pillow, burp cloths, cot quilt, and quiet cube. Do you know what? We should start making these for blooming Maisie, shouldn't we? <laughs> Look, Carol's crocheting for Christmas already. No. No, no, that's one that comes in the book. That's printed. That's not signed. That comes printed in the book. Oh, which picture did she use? Oh, she hasn't used one. Hang on. Oh, she see, ever since I started saying she was airbrushed in a picture, she stopped putting it in, has not she? <laughs> right, there we go. Knotted headband, hooded towel, lovely projects, play mat, Moses basket. Blimey, did you have to make the whole basket? No. Nah. Um, balloon mobile, 
Oh, that's nice. Cat's going to make that one for Maisie. Chair harness. Uh, bandana bib. Baby's nest. Oh, that's cute. Now, Crazy Lorraine makes lots of these for all the babies. Behind it, look, beautiful. Uh, then you've got your cot bumper. Then you've got your cot pocket. Which, Elliot, actually, did you show a picture of that one, Elliot? Did you, can we have a look at the pocket again? The one that Jules has made. There it is, look. That's from this book. That's from this book. Insulated bottle bag there. Patchwork pillow. Laundry bin. Oh, have you? That must have been before I came to work here then. The laundry bin we've done. Nursery storage. That's a nice idea, isn't it? That one there. Then you've got... Um, I'd like to see, actually, how much mess Maisie has made at... Um, Vix and Kieran's, because Vix, I'll just tell you, right? Vix and Kieran's flat is like a boutique hotel, right? <laughs> it's just, you open the door and you just go, oh my God, you don't touch anything. I mean, no, it's not like that. It's because it's very homely, but it's literally, my bedroom is the one you, you first come through the door. My bedroom's the first one on the left. And it's like a, the, you pay a fortune to stay in a boutique hotel like that. Then their bedroom, it's just, oh, it's just magnificent. Then the biggest bathroom you've ever seen in your whole Huge bath in the window and everything. It's not a window, the window's high. The, all, of, all of Vix's windows are quite high like that because she lives on a top floor flat. Then you go, then it opens out into a lovely sofa with an L-shaped sofa and everything in it. And then you go through to the kitchen from there. So, but it's like boutique. And it's got a roof garden. On the right-hand side, there's a roof garden and you're right by the cathedral and everything. That's beautiful. Anyway. Not now. Huh? <laughs> not now. <laughs> no, no, I imagine there's <laughs> nappies all over the place. Stroller sleeping bag. Travel changing mat. Quiet cube. Cot quilt. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you know what? I'm sure she won't mind me telling you this. When she got home yesterday, when Vic's got home from her first shift on yesterday, baby Maisie had bought her flowers and a gin and tonic. A gin oh. and tonic. Oh, isn't that nice? Bless her. So She's advanced. a lovely handwriter for a 10-week-old. So you. advanced. <laughs> right, OK, shall we go to Jules Move? And I'll introduce other bits and bobs as I need to. Mm. Do you think? Right, please be careful, because the, pan the panels are absolutely flying out. So please, 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 if you've got them in your basket, do check out. What's that, Cap? Oh, yeah, I imagine that. The strips is the most popular. It's just beautiful, the strips, isn't it? Because you've got so many different colours. I love the fact that they've put all of the letters into one of the strips here. It's all right. And then the camera's not. There you go. There you go. Look, they got, they're all the same, but different colours. Look, so the letters are the same with the pictures, but the backgrounds are different colours. Sage green there, and then you've got your tan there, and then you've got your yellow and your blue, rust, darker green. Oh, I don't know what that is. No, Alice and Marion does an apron called Mommy and Me. Is it made of strips? Oh, she made them out of strips. Well, there you go. Right. Oh, yeah, she made one for you, one for the little one. Oh, that's how it is. Mommy and Me, a big apron, a little apron. Oh, okay. Jules Muth, how are you? Hello. Yes, I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. She just came in because we all have our masks and everything. We started, we all obviously take them off when we come in here. She has her still on for the start of the show. It's like, oh, I don't think I need this now. <laughs> Very comfortable yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, we get so, you get so used to having I it know. on, don't you? You just, yeah, get organised. Especially when you've got specs because they go over the masks, don't they? Yes, so. exactly. <laughs> Actually, Do you not find this? But mine still steam up. My glasses still I have, steam up. I have certain product on mine. So on your glasses? I'll have, I'll have to get you some, yeah. Oh, Fab. Wow. Works. Just oh, how the only it? thing that I've ever found that works, but it works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so excellent. I can't obviously. Uh, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, we don't sell it, so it's fine. No. But, uh, right. Okay. So now you've made so many things. What are you going to do? Well, today? I had two panels. Um, I'm going to. So I was asked to do wall hanging. Right. So I did the wall hanging out of a complete one. Right. Um, and I did hand tying on the quilt because I don't think we've done that for a little while. No. If we've done it. Mm -hmm. So I thought what I'd do is a, a mini version. Uh, do some hand tying and then some squares and stuff like that. Okay. So this is out of the so that's the first panel. Yeah. Out of the second panel, I got the two dice, right? Um, the little booklet and the Debbie Shaw. Oh uh, wow. One. So I got it all out of the yeah. second, and I had a couple of the little panels there. So it goes 
way way far so you could if you got two panels you could make a complete nursery set for example oh lovely so it would and they're so really reasonable well. aren't yeah. they, and the those strip roll ones i didn't have those no sorry they live, speak to management yeah but they they were um yeah they're really good they're really good so edging pillows and yeah, stuff like no, that yeah no totally totally <coughs> oh yeah you could put those on a plane that would just lift, yeah. lift a plain pillowcase yeah get yeah. your white pillowcase yeah. and put that on there so the first thing that i did i had the um pastel one to demo and yeah. I've got the uh, lilac background so I'm just going to do a quick wall hanging so right. I'll, I'll sew it around and you can do a few more bits uh, and because I want to show you turning through and hand quilting on right. this one okay. but what I did was I just picked out letters so you can do anything you can do oh, any yes. kind of thing and because you've got the ampersand you've saved three letters of course so that's why I think that's really Excellent. So what you've done on this one, different to that one, the one on the wall is literally just Everything. the panel. That is the just panel. Just the panel and you I, backed it out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't quilt the lines or anything like that because I, I think if you're not experienced at quilting or you're a little bit shaky, then the lines will go wonky yeah. and you think, well, actually it, does, it doesn't do mm. a great deal. Also, if you haven't got a long arm or you've got a very small throat space, then hand quilting is a really easy thing of to course. do. But I love the way you've mixed the background with the with the foreground. Yeah, and well. and then kind of on the edges, you just add little bits on. So these are all six inch square. So you just literally cut your strips out, mm -hmm. and then you can do whatever you want. To. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do on this is I've got the batting underneath, yeah, uh, wadding underneath, and then I've got a piece of backing fabric. So it, if you've got your kit, obviously you've got that in the kit. If not, you can use a another. Yeah. And then I'll put it face to face, and all I'm going to do, so John can do some more doodahs, but all I'm going to do is sew all the way round, um, and then I'll turn it through and I'll show you what to do with okay, your hand where, quilting. Okay, where are you leaving your gap? I'm leaving my gap um, on the side. I normally do left side, just because then I remember where I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also you've got a bit of a run up, because at the top and the bottom right are things that people look at. So if I've got my run up to the top and then bottom right, then That's I'm it. in the flow. Okay, then. Yeah, so. Can I just ask quickly, on the wall hanging there, before you bagged out, yeah. did you tuck those in? You make those and Yeah, tuck them so in? if you were doing some strips on there, what you would do is make your strips, or I'd use ribbon on there. Right. But if I want the wall hanging to have that on the top, obviously think about where it needs to be. It actually needs to be sandwiched between the two. So you'll be putting it kind of like that, into your seam. Right. So you want it in the seam. Yep. So you'll Going have your little inwards. loop yep. into the seam and the loop comes out of yep. the seam. Perfect. So if you just think where it's going to be, that's kind of where you're going to put it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'll do that. Then you can, you can read out and stuff. So we'll just whip round there. Oh, Jill's using the 578. There's just one left. There's one left now. Uh, Susan says, I ordered the panel but missed what the letter J was. It'll be a jellyfish. jellyfish. It's a jellyfish. Uh, Carol says, my brother works in a book charity shop and I asked him last night if he gets any Debbie Shaw, if, if he gets any jo Debbie Shaw books to keep them for me. <laughs> right, um, while you're saying that, I'll... The bright pan panel bundle. Oh, bright pa panel and bundle are in the lead. So this is your bright bundle here. So you get your wadding, you get a metre of the red, plus you get the bright... Well, now they call it brights, but it's not like vibrant brights. It's just a more bold colour, isn't it? It looks very American to me. I don't know if you think that. It looks a very American kind of colour the colour scheme. Yes. And also, the colours of this match the, the... You don't get this in the, in the bundle, but this is the strip one. These are the same colours in this one as the strip one. I'm surprised we haven't got this in a pastel. But anyway, very popular. Yeah. So this is in the lead anyway. So this this in the lead more than the stripes. Okay, the stripes are way and way and truly in the lead, but as the as the two panels, this is what this is in the lead. If you want the Brights panel on its own, we can do that for you. While stocks last, Kat's saying, <laughs> more than half the stock has gone already. You'll kick yourself if you don't get it. Yeah. You seriously will. And that lady that was, um, was it Kath that was going to do it for her grandchild? Yeah. Perfect. 
This is the sort of thing that you want. It's a simple, easy, straightforward um, make for whatever you want to do. You know, you can you can virtually knock things up without pan patterns and stuff. Yeah. Little gift bag. Oh, you know, because can you remember? Was was I with you, Cat? I, or if I'm telling if I was at home. What's the matter? Yeah, when they came into school and they're not kids aren't having parties anymore, but if they have parties, they're giving out the gift bag. Oh. And I can't remember where I was. I, I hope I didn't dream it. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure someone said, "Oh, that's it now. You don't get. You don't go to the party. You just come home. You just, they just take them to school oh. and take the gift bags for them." Oh, I see. Oh well, fair enough. You can knock some of those gift bags. Up. Yeah. And in fact, that um, the cot panel. I was thinking when I was doing it, this would make quite a nice gift bag kind of thing. Yeah, no, totally. Right, OK, so don't go too far. That's it. Yeah, on the you're on the left-hand side. I'm on the left-hand side. I nearly just sealed the whole yeah. thing up. Right. <laughs> so then we're going to cut the corners as per um, and kind of... At home, you'd neaten it down. I mean, I'd cut all of that off, but I wanted to yeah, show yeah, you yeah. what I'm doing. So you just kind of reach in and pull it through. So this is your bagging out procedure and for this you don't actually need to use um, any uh, kind of binding or anything like that because oh, it's, it's, it's pre-bound yeah, exactly, pre yeah. isn't it basically if you wanted to you could top stitch I didn't top stitch because I thought um, I wanted it to look kind of quite a comfy quilt yes, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean yeah. whereas when you put a top stitching on, I'll show you on the dice in a minute you put a top stitch on and it makes it a lot more rigid yes so, okay, you would do a lot more of the poking out, making sure your seams are flat and all the other malarkey. Yeah. So that's what you end up with. And the reason that I um, like hand quilting on something like this, it's all pre-measured. I don't have to worry where I'm going to quilt. So I'm going to quilt across in the diagonals all okay. the way across here. Yeah. Um, what I used, uh, you can use any yarn, any sort of sturdy yarn, let's say, but what I used was um, some embroidery floss that uh -huh. we've had. In fact, if you watch tomorrow, I think there's a heads up to watch tomorrow, but I can't say any more. Um, oh, she knows more than I do. Uh, you've got to be in the know. I'll just say, at what time do we need to watch tomorrow? Uh, early. Like early bird? Early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. What's our early bird tomorrow then? <laughs> you can't say early, can you? You can't say it now. No, I'm going to say it now. But it could be this sort of floss kind of thing. I have floss. I have an unpacked eight o'clock, so oh, I don't well, know what to do. Okay. Right, anyway, so are take, you using it? I'm taking a decent, I'm using all strands together, six strands together, mm -hmm. taking a decent amount. Yeah. So don't worry about it kind of knotting up. It won't, it'll be fine, yeah. as she says. Uh, and just get a, a, a kind of sharpish needle. Um, you can get quilting needles with big eyes. Yeah. And then what I'll do is, so where my little cross is, I'm just going to go barely a quarter of an inch, have something protecting your table underneath because you're going all the way through. Right. So go all the way through. Try and avoid where your seams are because it's just easier to kind of slice through, she says. So go down and then back up again. So you yeah. make a diagonal across like this. Uh huh. And then just gently pull it through without taking Gently, it. she says. Yeah. You need some of those needle grippers. You do. She oh, says. no, you just do. So we're going through and then as you go through, just hold that down, just pull it through and you want about a three inch end. So okay. I'm going to stop there Yeah. and then go over to the next one. So you don't cut anything off oh. yet. Oh, do, do okay. Not, oh, do not cut. Oh, this is why you've got such a long thread because yeah. I didn't realise that. Yeah. Yeah. And go back through again. So we're not tying it just yet. Yeah. So I want three inches and three inches there and three inches on the next one. So right. if you go through, I usually put my hand there. And that's about enough left over. So that's my two at the top, going down to here. So it's such a quick way to sort your quilt out. Yeah. Going I've never down seen here. it done like this before. Yeah. Going down here. Does it matter, Kat's saying, does it matter if, what direction you're going? Can you just keep going? I, go consistently the same kind of way. Right. Um, I missed this one, but it doesn't matter. You can go back and do it. You just will use a little bit more thread, that's all. And go through there. So normally I'd come down and go there, but I was yeah. talking, wasn't I? And you're going to do it over course. every corner, are you? Every corner. I've got a middle bit there, but I think I will do one there. Yeah. So you can be in charge of where you do it. It doesn't, you know, 
It's not prescriptive. You can do whatever you like. So you could do it. You could do it around the letters if you wanted. And things like that. Um, just have a look at your wadding. Some waddings, well, most waddings will say quilt at eight inches apart oh, okay, or okay. blah, yeah. whatever it is. But kind of generally, I do hand width of stuff mm -hmm. so just when you're going through just make sure that you've got enough because you're going to be tying this in a second oh okay oh and that's then, why you leave an extra yeah okay so don't pull it all tight so that's my last one mm -hmm. so obviously if you've got a bigger quilt um the one that i've got up there so the whole panel took probably about three quarters of a skein oh okay so not massive amounts so what you've got there is just make sure that each one has got enough to do a tie mm -hmm. and chop in the middle. So do them all consistently and then your knots will be consistent. Right. So we've got. And you can, because you've not tied anything off yet, you can slide it be between yeah. the two. Right, okay. So do all of that. Mm -hmm. And then this is where you do your tie. So, reef knot, granny knot, whichever kind you want. So, right over left, left over right, and pull it, and that's it. Oh, okay. That's it, and then you will cut it off. So, let's just tie all of this. So, it's a reef knot, right over left, left over right, then? Yeah. Granny hmm. knot is both the same way, but it doesn't really matter. I didn't know that. If you were doing, um, so this is going to be a wall hanging, so I'm not too worried about the strength of these if you like yeah if it was going to be a quilt that I'd put on a bed at this point I put some fabric glue on there so like a fray stop or oh, okay. any of the fabric glue just so that the knots don't come apart again and would oh I'll, I'll wait for a minute because I was gonna say if you leave them that long and it makes a play mat the kids have got things to yeah and uh, the other thing is depending on what yarn you use so this I know is six strands so those will all fray up nicely. Yes, yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so a bit more texture and it's a bit more tactile kind of thing. So nearly there. And then you just chop the ends off to about an inch-ish. Uh -huh. So what I do is, because I've always got my fingers with me, hopefully, is I... So look at that and do kind of a couple of fingers and chop that off. Right. So then they'll all be neatly the same sort of size. And because I use a variegated thread. They're different colours. Yeah. So you can really go to town. I mean, if you you could have picked out the green or, you know, whatever colour. Yeah. But always in your embroidery threads, there'll be some threads that you never use. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. Colours exactly. that you never yeah. use. Yeah. There we go. So that's Perfect. that one. So that's hand tie. And then what do it look like on the other side then? Is it just like a little stitch on the other side? Yeah. So you've got little stitch. You can't see some of them because they're the paler thread. But yeah, yeah, yeah you've yeah. got the little stitch on that side and the main one on that side. Oh, okay. And then as you've drawn it to, it's kind of pocketed it a little bit. Yeah. And also, the more you wash it, if, you, if you're going to wash it, it'll kind of cinch, scrunch up a bit more, won't it? Yes. Sorry. So that, what are you doing? That's, well, I'm putting that out of the way because I've got, <laughs> I've got other stuff to show okay, you. Okay, then, yeah, please do. <laughs> All right. So the other thing, um, an extension on a wall hanging, if you like, is you can use your little... Oh. So it's like hashtag ABC is what I decided on. Um, you could do a name or anything, couldn't you? You, could. you know, Abby's. Oh no, hang on. You just be careful because if you want, if you need two of one letter, yeah. you're going to need two. Two panels. So if your children have got double letters in them, you'll need to buy two. Cat would be all right. John would be all right. Elliot wouldn't be any good. <laughs> Jules would be all right, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you can before you decide. Like if you've got a name, you've got to pick those out first of all. I mean, on the, these, I've sewn these together, but on that and on the, the dice, I didn't need to sew them together. No. But if you can, it's, you know, straightforward. You didn't need to sew the dice together. You just cut out the shape out from the panel. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, it's so cool. Clever. It's so cool. So on this, all I've done is taken the square. Right. Taken backing and batting, just the same, same kind size. of thing. Um, pop those together. I've marked the centre and I've marked two inches either side. 
Right. I've taken some of the backing and just made a normal binding. So um, four inch strip, fold it to the middle and fold the outers to yep. the middle and then sewn it down. Could you uh, use ribbon? If you've got some ribbon in your sack, yeah, could you use perfect. ribbon? Yeah, perfect. You could use ribbon, yeah, uh, or even kind of thicker yarn if you've got some thicker yarn. Uh, and then what you do here is obviously we're making a row to join them down. You just have to remember that sandwiching thing again. Right. Um, so when I'm going around this, I need to sew. Uh, so this is my C. This is going to be how it's top of the letter is going to be. I've marked where I want these edges to be. So I'm going to sew, well, I don't need to, but I'll explain to you. Sew all the way round. Yeah. And stop at these points here. Then you'll just insert that and then stitch across the top. Oh, okay. And you could, if you wanted to make it consistent, you could stitch all the way all around there. All the way there. around, yeah. And so that would be, that's going to be the kind of wall hanging uh -huh. panel. Oh, yeah, that's lovely, that So you one. can do those sorts of things. Yeah. And then the other thing is the dice. Right. That was fun. So on your panel, obviously, choose, if you've got a name that you want to choose, you can choose that and sew them together. But all you'll need for a dice is four, whoops, we're upside down. Upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Four and a three. So it can be that sort of configuration or just depending on what you've got kind of left really uh -huh. or it can be that sort of configuration which is probably a bit more conventional when you're doing yeah, yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. So on the dice that I've done I've done two different versions I'll just show you. Yeah yeah take them down. While you do Jean says hi John and Jules my friend Sue was totally confused with the letters J, N and R. We had a good giggle trying to work out what they were. <laughs> well J's a jellyfish. Ends the narwhal. Uh, ends the narwhal. Where's the narwhal? Oh, oh, uh, roundabout. Oh, roundabout, yeah. roundabout. Roundabout or road, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Right, sorry, carry on. Carry on. So um, this is the size of them. I mean, that's that's packed full of uh, yeah. our poly doodah. Yeah, we've wadding. got that coming up in a second. Um, on this one, it's a bit more, Can if you can see the two, one's more, I don't know if you can get a, perhaps an overhead or something like that. One's more, much more kind of square shaped, more rigid than the other one. The other one kind of goes into a sort of like a ball kind of shape. Right. Simply because on this one, which is more rigid, I've top stitched. All the seams, all, all the, the seams. edges. Yeah. Uh, and that just gives it a little bit more structure. Yeah. But you can do it on either. Right. And you don't have to worry about it, whichever way round you want to do it. So I'm going to top stitch on this one and just show you what goes on. Okay, perfect. If you wanted to do it with a name and you use different letters, would you just... Excuse me, still make that shape, but with yeah. a very tiny seam allowance. Yeah. Um, you can use your quarter of an inch, because you, if you have a look, you have got a reasonable amount around the letter. As long as you're consistent with whatever you do, right, okay. it'll look right. Um, if you start doing a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch, it goes a bit wonky. Of course, yeah. Um, so on this, what I'm doing is, I, the first thing that I did was I top stitched all the seams before I started. So by that, I mean, the joins between the letters. Right. So if you go down and do that, so just do a simple finger press. You can use your clover mini press if you want to. Uh huh. You know we like that one. It's on the show tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I should have been here tomorrow as well. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I think it's those are the things that I consistently use, and I, I think if you're a quilter, you use all of these things all the time. Yeah, of course. So anytime they're on the show, it's relevant, isn't it? So there we go. Yeah, now if you're just doing this, you don't need the kit because you're not using any background fabric and you're not using the wadding. No. You'd need to, you could just buy the panel on its own and some toy stuffing. So I'll just do another one and so you yeah, get you've got an plenty idea. Of time, don't oh, you? okay. Yeah. Just, we'll do, we'll, we'll do a bit more then on this one. So again. And so this just gives it a little bit of structure. And if you didn't want the um, squares to be quite big, uh, quite as big, you could always just do a bigger seam allowance. Yeah, of course. Uh, right, Kat, what did you just say then? Okay, the bright panel on its own, we've only got 18 left. So if you want the bright panel, which is the uh, over there, 
Oh, now the way, no. <laughs> there. <clears throat> There's only 18 of these left on their own. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then there are 30 of the pastel one left on its own. There's the pastel one. There's 30 of those left, which is the uh, that way. <laughs> 1499, that's the panel on its own, when you, if you buy the panel on its own. <clears throat> so when you get to this point, I'll do that and that one, but when you get to this point, you're going to join these two together. Right. So this is your quarter of an inch seam. Uh-huh. So right size to right size to join it together. Margaret just... says I'm going to get whiplash turning around to look at the telly so much this morning. <laughs> Margaret, just turn your desk round. Margaret's working from home, you see, so she works with the telly on like that. So she's doing her work here with just us muttering in the background. She's doing this all, doing this. <laughs> have your break. Have your she break can't have now. a five-hour break. Well, you know, you can't be on the screen all the time. No. It's not so turn good around to, to watch another screen. Is that what you're saying for your break? <laughs> there's always, you know, where there's a will. And then turn it inside out um, so you've got wrong side to wrong side and just top stitch so you're consistent with what oh, you're course, doing yeah. and that's so now you're going to there's a lot of if you do the top stitching there's a lot of going in and out of things but that's fine mm -hmm. so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quarter of an inch seam around so don't be worried because this is a y seam situation but don't be worried about that all you've got to do is remember that when you come up to the end to stop a quarter of an inch before you go to the end that that's the trick isn't it with y seams people are terrified of them but actually as long as you don't go right to the end yeah. then it's almost impossible isn't it if yeah. you stop your quarter of an inch at the end then it works perfectly yeah you just have to think and if you think well i'll forget that yeah start at the other end yeah. start a quarter of an inch in it doesn't matter there's not um it, it really doesn't make any difference yeah the uh, bundles are now neck and neck, so the pastel bundle and the brights bundle are exactly equal. Oh, the strips are very, very popular. I'll go through all this again in a minute if you missed it, but the strips is really popular. So because I've left a little bit there, then that makes my... So that's the end of this seam, and I'm going to go to this seam now. Uh -huh. So what you'll do is you'll just turn the main part of the panel. So just turn it so that that is now creating that next seam. Uh -huh. And then start again and finish a quarter from the other end. And of course you can pin this if you'd like to, it's, uh, you know, however you feel happiest. Kat, what are you saying Kat, you bought the Brights panel and you bought the strip. You wouldn't need, you wouldn't need the, um, to use the strips unless you want to make one side stripey, but you wouldn't have a letter on it then, would you? You'd have um, just stripes on it. Can't say would, if you bought the panel and the stripes, could you mix the two? But then you'd, you'd take away the one side being a letter, wouldn't you? Yeah. I suppose what you could do is you could make a letter out of the strips. So say, for example, uh, you needed Abby. You needed two Bs. Yeah. You could make a letter with the strips, so you could do. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So final one. So this is the. Let's say this is the bottom of the cube. And I think in Debbie's book as well, there is um, there's the fidget cube. Yes, because um, you you, yours are just cubes to throw at each other, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I didn't kind of follow a pattern. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, but you, if you needed the um, confidence of following a pattern, then obviously you've got that Yeah, in I'm just there. looking for it now. Towards the back, I think. Oh, is it? I think. Quiet cube, there you go. Yeah. So, so let's see how Debbie says. So on here, you, you've got the end piece there, and then you'll top stitch around this again. And then that gives you the consistency of your um, 
sides. How big are the squares six, on the panel? Six inches, I think. Oh, are they? I think. Because that's what Debbie says, take three six-inch squares, or however many. Three six-inch squares. What? No, I haven't finished yet. Oh, actually, they're six and a quarter. That's because you're seam allowed. Yeah. So six inch finished. So, um, but yeah, so she said, Debbie says take three six inch squares of fabric and three six inch squares of felt. But you could take six six inch squares of fabric. And then she uses ribbon, wooden beads, wide ribbon, buttons. Oh, that's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Do a button. If you like these buttons in this book here, I've got some imperfect coming up for you in a second. So you can see that coming together. Yeah. And then finally, you'll do two of the top seams. So if you imagine this is like a kind of, you're making this box shape, you just do the two side boxes and leave the end bit. Right, okay. Um, because that's where you're going to be stuffing and all uh -huh. that kind of stuff. But exactly the same thing again. And you can see, oh, it's just, you don't have to think. Oh, that's what I love. You just have cut them out and you know they're all going to fit. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, if you find it a bit challenging sometimes to concentrate and cut things out, if you want quick makes, this is perfect. Yeah. Well, and also, um, because people are just being able to see their families and everything, aren't they? If you know your grandkids are coming round, you could whip yeah. a few of these up before they come round yeah. and things. Or as Kat's saying, make some for a local nursery or something like that. Yeah. If, you, if you've got a panel like this in reserve, you know, you can do those things anytime, can't yeah, you? Yeah, of course. Make them for your local nursery, because nursery must be on half term and summer holidays soon, isn't it? Morning all, says Anne. You could trace a letter and make an applique square if you want two letters the same. Yeah. You're so right. You're so right. So there we are. That's that's kind of the end bit. I would just do a couple of bits there and then just kind of stuff it. With all this stuff. Yeah. So obviously you're going to press in between and you're going to make sure everything's all lined up and neat and stuff. But that gives you a good idea of what this is going to be. Oh, I've got a narwhal. You've got what? I've got a narwhal. Oh, good. <laughs> now, so, so when you've stuffed it... Yes. You don't have to hand stitch, do you? Because you've top stitched all of them. Oh, yes. shut up, John. No, 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 yeah. not shut up. Well done. Yeah. Yes, because you know me, lazy old what's it. But you just um, do your quarter of an inch again. And as you've got that there, instead of doing any faffing about... You could lace it together if you wanted to, but just clip it or pin it and then... Do, yeah. your, do your top stitch over the top. And job's done. Jobs are good as they it say. It certainly is. So, yeah. Perfect. Right, now I just need you to, to go through. I, I, have you got another demo? Because I just want to talk about the... Um... I just want to do the button. Oh, hold. perfect, I'm perfect. That's hold, but yeah, 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 perfect. Because <laughs> I wanted to, I was thinking we can't leave, leave this out, but I forgot you were doing the buttonhole, yeah. Yes. Um, so oh, yeah, you let, while you're prepping for it, I've got buttons. You've got buttons and I've got buttons in here. Ah, you can have a code. This one is RNZW32. Prime Remix. Now, yours will have one more in it than that. Because someone nicked a button out of here this morning. I nicked two. Oh, two. Yours will have two <laughs> more in than that. Now, they are random, so I can't guarantee that you're going to get that orange one with the lip on it or that red one with the dint in it there. But you literally are going to get all of these buttons. Uh, Primary Mix, $5.99. That would be brilliant for your brights. Or this one here, which is your pastels. Oh, do you need a number again? Oh, hang on, hang on. So what was the first one called then? Primary, and this one's called brights. Go with both. They'd all go with both, yeah. You will get a selection of those uh, those colours, I can't guarantee. They seem to be smaller buttons in there, mm. on the whole. No, I think that must be the scoop scoop. There wouldn't be... Uh, they'd put some big ones in if you were going to get some big ones, wouldn't they? Anyway, I'm going to put this away whilst you do okay. what? So I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if anybody or everybody's got 
a buttonhole foot and they know what it looks like. The 570 comes with it and there's one 570 left in stock. Yes, it's not this one I'm using. So just when you're um, swapping feet, you're just releasing the little lever at the back on most machines. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're just coming over to you now. So Cameras have been very earlier? slow this morning. Is that Elliot? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Elliot. Where are you? So this is what I've just pushed and no, you dropped can't, my you can't even show. There you go. Yeah. So we've, got, we've taken that one off. Yeah. And then we're going to put the new one back on. So this is your buttonhole foot, which is... You just might need to lift it up a little bit to get it underneath. And there's a little bar, so you line the bar up, then you drop your foot down, and it attaches, okay? Yeah. And then the other thing about a buttonhole foot is at the back, there's a piece that you pull out, and you put your the size button that you're going to use in it. So you just pull it out. And it's a one-step buttonhole, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. There it is. Because I should have done that before, but there you go. Yeah, and you just push it so that the, the button is fitted exactly into that space at the back. And then the last thing that you do is there's a little lever here yeah. that you pull down. Yeah. And you push that behind the button foot. So That's that not it, your needle thread to cat. So it knows where it's to your stop. Buttonhole, it tells the, your buttonhole thing when to stop. So the needle threader is a bit further forwards. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's where I got it from, yeah. just behind. But Perfect. different machines have different ways of working, so you just need to look at your machine and your instructions. Um, and then what you need to do is decide where you want your button to start and uh, your um, button hole to be. Yeah. So remember, when this works, the button starts to form backwards, so away from you. So where you position it, there's like a couple of little. Um, reference lines on here but where you position it is at the beginning and then your button will go Upwards. further yeah so what I would suggest is if you're not used to using it get a scrappy piece which could be the edge of that yeah 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 uh, and just do it and then select your button hole so on this machine there are ooh, about eight ten yeah ten um, so pick the one that you want program it in and put your foot down and it's and that's it it's doing it while I'm not doing anything else <laughs> and just keep going it, it will stop so it, it runs the line up and then comes back down and then seals that and it seals the end bits yeah but it'll tell you when it's going to stop it so now you've slower. got your foot pedal down have you I've got my foot pedal down I suppose you could always you could do hand free oh uh, yeah you could put you just press the button take the take the um oh there you go. It's finished. Take the pedal out, just press the start button on the front and it'll just do it, wouldn't yeah. it? And it stopped automatically, has it? Yes, stopped automatically. That's that one. And the, the button is the same. You want to see that, really, won't you? Um, Jackie said, Jewel, John, you, you said last week that Jules did a masterclass on a concealed zip. Can Jules remember what date it was, please? Uh, I want to say the 17th of May. Yep, yeah, that's right, 17th of May. Yes, there that's go, what I want to say. Yeah, that's what, did, though you were right. Yes. <laughs> Friends are like flowers, cushion day it was. Yes, yeah. So yeah. what you would do there is, uh, there are various ways of slicing the buttonhole open, but I use a seam ripper or a sharp pointed pair of scissors. Put a pin just before the end of the stitching. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, you can go from the middle and go up and down. Uh, I don't know if these will do it. But if you fold this over and just cut in between, snip in between, Oh, yeah, you can use a seam ripper as well if you put yeah. the pin in. So I'd normally use a seam ripper. Well, there's one there. There's one with a magnifying glass and a light and everything. Oh, it's very fancy. Oh, it's very fancy. <laughs> you're not using it. Very fancy for me. Do you want me to use it? No, I'm no, I'm no, there. No, Look, now I'm there. Now you're not putting a pin in the other end? No, because actually I put a pin in if I'm using a seam ripper. Oh, right, yeah, So, yeah. sorry, cross purposes. If I'm not, so if you slice it, yes. then you just be careful. Yeah. Um, and that then... Perfect. Brilliant. Got a quick message for you. Saying, could have done with this demo the other day. Took me <laughs> half an hour to work out how to use it. Forgot to put the stopper thing down. Thanks, Jules, from Kate. <laughs> 
We've all we been there. We can't shout her name out. She puts collector on there so her husband doesn't hear me shouting. So her husband doesn't know when she's buying something. But she's not well, buying know, anything now, no. husband. She's just commenting. She, and she was just being um, educated. Yes. <laughs> learning. 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 It's a learning day. Uh, brilliant, so, yeah. Jules. Thank you very much. Stay back in an hour and you're making... The quilt as oh, you course, go. Oh, of course you are. Behind me. Yeah. Rolling Stone. We had a bit of a shock this morning, <laughs> right? Because Jules came in and when I showed the packet, when we got to it, no, I'm not making that one. That's not it. That's not it. Anyway, they've done that. The, they've re repackaged it, right? And the pattern on the front, it's still the same pattern, but they've done it in a different colorway. And if you do it in a different colorway, it looks completely, completely different. We'll show you. We'll show you in an hour's time when we get to it. But before we do that, let me do a roundup of everything. Right, pastel bundle first. It's gone into the lead, the pastel bundle. Right, hang on a sec. I've got to get this right. So that goes there. This is the pastel bundle. So what you get is you get a meter of your lilac, you get the pastel bundle, and you get the um, wadding. Move that out of the way. That's not part of it. Oh, hang on. That's upside down. Oh, honestly. Come on, John. One job. <laughs> right. Wad ah! <laughs> Got it. Sorry. Cut, caught it. No. Wadding, panel, meter of fabric. 23.99. Oh, now you're getting a slight saving on that. How much? Oh, okay. Then if you bought all those individually, it'd be four pounds more expensive. Now we found out. Cat did some maths in the uh, during the show. Pastel panel on its own, which is this one here. There are only fifteen left, and that is at five to ten on Wednesday morning. <laughs> The 9th of June, in case you're watching the repeats. No, it's not 10 days to my birthday. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, I was looking at 14.99. I was thinking, oh, my birthday's not the 24th of 99. Yeah, 10 days to my birthday. Ooh. Anyway, 15 of those left. Bright bundle. What's the matter, Elliot? I'll be 61, Elliot. Thank <gasps> you. No, you don't look a day of a 45, Oh, John. thank you, Jules. Don't say it so sarcastic. No, I don't, wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> it's only because everyone in this building is like all in their like teens, aren't they? Well, apart from Ellie. Nappies, they're in nappies. Yeah. This one here, you get the... Uh, uh, well, I thought Elliot was 40. Wow. Oh, yeah, Jules agrees. Right, 23.99, <laughs> you get the brights panel, you get a metre of the red. Uh, is it claret, that one? Anyway, so, or, anyway, or it could be crimson, actually. Uh, plus the wadding. So you get all... Oh, it's crimson, crimson. Twenty three ninety nine, And then that panel on its own. Oh, yeah, that bright panel. There's only 12 of these left now. 12 of these left. Beautiful. Then I've got the strips. Brand new today. These are all brand new today. All exclusive. These strips. They're what did you say? Best selling item of the day. This one so far. Look at it. It's amazing. Look. No. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Beautiful, isn't it? And look at you get all that for fourteen ninety nine. That should so be nineteen ninety nine, shouldn't it? Gorgeous. Definitely should be nineteen ninety nine. Right. What well, I haven't I done? I, oh, I haven't done. If you are making the cubes, the dice, you will need some toy stuffing. This is recycled polyester craft filling for toys and cushions. Four ninety nine. For 250 grams. That does two and a bit more. This does two and a bit dice. Die. One die, two dice. One die, two dice. Oh, I don't know. No, one dice, two die. One die two She's doing some poem in there. What are you doing? It's one die, two die. Because it's mice. One die, two dice, mice. What? Go, no. go and have a cup of tea. I'm going to have my breakfast. Yeah. Go have a sit down. Bye. See you in an hour. <laughs> Don't nick that sewing machine. No, I'm not. <laughs> Our wooden buttons now. I haven't shown these at all. <coughs> Vicks had some wooden buttons yesterday. She had the deep sea diving ones, didn't she? Well, no, deep sea diving, the under the water ones. Have we? 
Okay, this one here is EXZW54. This is baby. Oh, it's a pram. I thought that was a frog. <laughs> right, okay, this here I thought was a frog. This here I thought was a frog. It's an upside down pram. Right, okay. So that's your baby one. And in there you get the baby in the bottle. Oh, hello. What's up going on now? What? He's just being mischievous, I think. Are you bringing on an assistant? Assistant, not a glamorous one. No. Right, okay, let me finish this out before you start interrupting. Neil's coming on in a minute, I think. Right, next. Oh, sorry, I've got the UEZW06. Oh, yes. Why is there a carrot under the sea, then? Do they have sea carrots? What's that there, then? Why is its eyes on its bottom? I can go off. You can have my mic. Right, okay, that's sea life. Then I've also got XIZW76. Here you go. Moon and star. No, moon. Moon. Moon stars. Moon stars, that one's called. Are we showing the picture? Hang on, hang on, we're showing the picture, that one. There you go. And then last but not least, honey. Honey bear. Three bears, three pots of honey. Right, don't go anywhere. I don't know what's actually happening at the moment, but Rebecca Reed is here, and we're going to be doing the brand new, they're selling already on pre-order, the doorstop, we're doing a cushion and a teapot cosy and a key ring and some coasters. And we have done a complimentary bun, um, panel to go with it. Because you will say, whenever Bex comes on and does the things, people go, oh, I love the fabric. There's, there's the kit, right? Whenever we've done uh, Bex Reads before, Amber makes before, it's not just Bex Reed, it's um, a Rebecca Reed, it's also Amy. There's talent behind the duo. Um, basically, when we, do, when we do their projects, you always message in going, oh, it's a shame you don't sell that fabric. Well, they've said we've done a panel with fat quarters. The fat quarters are about this big. Wait till you see. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again.
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page will you stop talking we're on live television now rebecca reed before we go any further Rebecca Reed's here and she's just setting up over there. I want you to meet the, the, the star, really, of Amber Makes, which is our lovely Amy. Now, normally, I'd go over and give her a big hug. We'll show you. We'll show it to you now. Hang on. The camera's just zooming in. Hang on. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Amy's Amy, we'll put it in a bit. Why do you think she's standing there, Elliot? <laughs> Elliot said, nobody told me. You've just given her a microphone. <laughs> Anyway, this is the gorgeous Amy here. Now you can talk, you've got a microphone. So Amy, tell me, you're a graphic designer, aren't you? Yes, I really? design That's... fabrics and patterns. And, and all things like that. And Amber makes is you, Amy, Am. Yep. Burr. How does that fit well, it's in? the other way around, isn't it? Rebecca's backwards. backwards. Yeah, well, yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. Oh, okay. I knew it was the two names. I didn't. Mm. So Amber makes is you and Rebecca. How did yes. it all happen? What? How did you two end up setting up this company? Well, we used to work together. At... You're allowed to say sewing okay. quarter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we used to work together at sewing quarter, and that's where we met. And we were just a great team then. So we thought we might as well carry it on. So it's a completely. It's not. Amber it's makes. not part of Sewing Street. It's a completely separate entity isn't it yes. you're like one of our guest designers yeah, coming in yes, exactly. and you have your own following on facebook don't you yes we do we have our own facebook page and our own website and what's it called then amber makes just amber makes. so yes. if people go on facebook they can find amber makes yes. and they can message you and look at yes. pictures and all sorts of things like that yeah there. and um what's your inspiration behind today's uh we're doing this by the way if you just think you wouldn't know what we do the beehive, <laughs> beehive thing what's the inspiration behind that well Everybody loves bees, and me and Bex love a doorstop, so Bex designed the beehive, and then I made So is that how it works? Bex comes in, oh, Rebecca, we have to call her Rebecca. Sorry, yeah, Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca comes in and says, oh, Amy, I want to do a new doorstop. I'm thinking beehive, and then yeah. you sit there and you create a different style and design it and everything. Yeah, so Be Rebecca, Rebecca designs the patterns, and they'll send me the blank patterns, and then I fill it in with print. Oh, I see. Rebecca will design the shape and then I... It's difficult, isn't it, Make it pretty. Rebecca? I know, you don't it have is. to come with Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> and and, it's, and it, every time, every time we do, and Amber makes it, it sells out, doesn't it? It must feel lovely to yeah, be that popular. It, it does, it does. It's great. It's a nice so have you got lots of, lots of plans 
you know, if you're thinking, oh, we could do this, do this, don't give anything away. I won't, but, I won't. <laughs> but, but you've got lots of ideas for the future. Yeah, everything. we've got so many plans. We can't do them all quick enough. Oh. Loads, loads of things in the pipeline. Well, you're looking Exciting. gorgeous. Thank you. Your hair looks brilliant. You look, fa you. isn't she lovely? She's, <laughs> such, she's such a lovely girl, is not she? Why oh. she's teamed up with you, I don't know. Yeah, no, no idea. No, exactly. Anyway, thank, thank you. you very much for coming in. You're and um, uh, we'll, we'll get her to do some sewing in a second. Yes. And um, anyway, I'll take you through what's available. Thank you, Amy. That was you're lovely. Welcome. Right, okay, so oh, where she goes? Good this way. Elliot. <laughs> right. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, let me show you what, the, what you can make from the kit before I start showing it. Right, there's a doorstop, a beehive doorstop. With a pattern that Amy's created. So that's your, that's your, you can make this. On, that's what, I'll show you the panel in a minute. You can make the front of the, um, I don't know what's, tea cosy. Tea cosy. No. Tea cosy. Is that what it's called, a yeah. tea cosy? Yeah. You, uh, can, can you make some um, egg cosy covers, please? Really? Because uh, I've got these lovely, but the egg, if when you're eating the first mm. egg, the second one goes cold while you're eating the first one. Does it? Yeah. Anyway. I need to, you need to eat them faster. Eat faster. Then there's the cushion. Now, obviously, there's not the back or the lining of this on the bundle. We've got a solution, though. That's the front of the cushion there. These are little coasters. And look at this. I'm having this. This isn't going anywhere. Look. It's got a face and everything. What's that? Oh, I was going to say it's got long hair, but there is antennae, aren't they? So they've just got a bit <laughs> floppy downy. All right, okay. So you can make all of those from this panel. Right, so you get in the bundle, you get the instructions and the panel, right? You get the instructions and the panel. I'll show you the instructions in a minute. Here's the panel. God, I'm a mess up. That's the mess with. Here we go. So here's the panel. Right, it's a long, thin one. So there's your uh, cushion front. There, all of these, you get your lovely little labels and everything there. That's a spare B completely, that one. There's the front of your tea cosy. They are the binding of your tea cosy. That's your tea cosy. They thought of everything. That's your hanging loop. This is the key ring along the bottom here. That's your key ring. That's a spare bumblebee there. And then this, there, there are your two coasters there. And then all of this is your doorstop. So everything on there. So you could make a whole doorstop from this. You need extra fabric if you're going to make the um, tea cosy. Right? This, you've got everything you need for the key ring there, apart from obviously the key ring thing itself. And then this here is the... Now, you don't have to make a cushion if you don't want to. You could use that to back that if you wanted, couldn't you? You could have that on the back of there. I mean, if you think... Oh, what have we got? 24 99 We've got one, two, three, four projects in there. Five projects in there. Five projects in there. Anyway, so that's that, right? So you get that and... What Rebecca Reed is very uh, proud of are her instructions because they're beautifully printed out. <laughs> Designed with love by Rebecca Reed. Oh, I see you get top billing there as well. <laughs> Rebecca Reed and Amy Gaunt. Anyway, look, so here's the instructions, but they're brilliant because there's all the written instructions, loads of pictures. Look. And the instructions there to make everything. Look, there's the, there's the coaster, there's the key ring, all five projects in there. Okay, beautiful. So you're getting doorstop, tea cosy, that still jars, tea cosy, uh, <laughs> coasters, key ring, cushion. So all of that. Now, a doorstop on its own would normally, what, cost £20, nineteen ninety nine, wouldn't it? So you get everything in there, everything you need in there for £24.99. Okay, now, as I said earlier, when... Um, Rebecca normally does a project here. People go, oh, I love it, I love it, and I love your needle case, and I love your sewing kit, and I love this, I love that. But uh, why don't you do the fabric to go with? Well, we've, we have. For the first time ever, we've done... Now, they call these fat quarters, right? These are the biggest fat quarters I've ever seen, right? I'll hold it up this way, first of all. Look. Look at the size of those pieces of fabric, right? So on this panel... Excuse me. Excuse me. No, I'm just saying, excuse me, 19.99. So you get four 
oblongs of. Well, I'm going to have a look now. I'm going to have a look. Look. So this is twenty-seven and a half inches across, and so that's that's nearly a yard, isn't it? It's nearly a yard mm. going across. I'm doing old money, obviously. <laughs> And Three then the yard, isn't it? 19 and a half down. So they're mm. way bigger than a normal fat quarter. So you get um, a section here, which is the same as your cushion front. L look at this one here. That's there's your. The thing is, you could do backs to your cushions, backs to your tea cosy, backs to your coasters if you want to, or do something completely and utterly different with it because you've got such. Because hang on, that's only two of them. There's then the beehives on the white. And then the bees, I love this one. The bees on the yellow there. You see, I have that one as my cushion front. That's beautiful. But that's not all, because look what you get on here. You also get, goes on and on and on. Beehive, beehive, bee, bee. Right. Uh, what's that? Cartoon bee. Real bee. Right? But look at this. We love these. This took forever. How rude is that? That's <laughs> rude. I made this exclamation mark. Then, stitch with love, handmade with love. This belongs to. So you get every. Oh, there you go. They had them on there. They're 70 by 50 centimeters. Oh, well, 50 centimeters is half a meter. So it's almost like a. Mm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you get all of that for 19.99. First time we've ever done it as collaboration. Well, I would say collaboration, that's the wrong word, isn't it? What's the matter, Kat? What? She's shouting out. I haven't been able to hear her for two hours. Suddenly she's... <laughs> Why is the light on in there? Oh, OK. It's, um, I can't normally see into the gallery, but I can see straight into the gallery from here. They've got the light on, and she's standing up shouting, Elliot's doing a belly dance now for everyone. Put your clothes back on, Elliot. Uh, luckily, we haven't had, we haven't, Kat hasn't had her breakfast yet, so that's quite good. Anyway, isn't that amazing? Isn't that just fantastic? So you get both, so 25 plus 20, 20, 45 pounds for the whole lot. That would be just brilliant. Right, Rebecca Reed. I won't introduce any of the other bits as yet because we're going to start the making and then I'll interrupt you when you say you might need some piping cord. I'll okay. show you the piping cord. Good idea, like that. good idea. All right, right. Good so where, what are you showing? Hello, by the Hello, way. Hello, good hey, morning. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Lovely welcome. Thank you. you very much. Thank you for inviting me onto your show. That's right. When was, I can't remember the last time I saw you. You, you know, I haven't um, seen Jewel since Christmas Day. Have you not? No, because she's oh, always been on she's your She's always show. on my show. Did you see what she said earlier? Mm. I had to come in to keep Rebecca Reed in check. <laughs> yeah. I right. know, I need someone sensible just to keep it calm. Uh, yes, exactly. That's so why I don't know why they put me here. I know, I know, but we never get any sewing done. <laughs> well, We're going to try in charge of sewing. really hard to get some sewing done today. I can't get... <laughs> 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 right, okay, oh, they're going to do the tidy at my desk. While... You know someone's going to walk in, no, no, over Kat's that. No, no, going to come pick it up now. Right, okay, so what are you going to show us? Because you um, can't make all five No, things. no, I'm going to concentrate on the beehive, to be honest. Right. I have done a bit of prep for the tea cosy, but I think we'll concentrate on the beehive okay. because that's the the main thing of it, wasn't it? Because yeah. I love a doorstop, and I said to Amy, let's do a beehive. I need a doorstop for my kitchen, actually. Do you? What yeah, would and I've you been like? looking at these because we've got doorstops yeah. all around here, haven't we? But um, this one might be quite oh, nice. Oh, I've got doorstops everywhere in my house. But I, the problem with it is that I couldn't decide how it should be, right. the beehive. Okay. You know, because beehives themselves aren't always necessarily an attractive Well, no, because they're, they're normally thing. wooden squares with slats, yes. aren't they? But then I was looking in a garden catalogue and I found that you can get these wicker ones. I thought, that's it then. But mm -hmm. then I still didn't really know how to do it, so I just gave it to Amy. I made it in sort of rubbish fabric. Right. And then gave it to her and said, you work this out. And oh. then it's great because then I get all these images back and it's beautiful. Because mm. I said, I want a door on my beehive. Well, they open a door to go in. With a handle a and hole. hinges yeah. and everything. So, but I didn't know how it should look or what the bees would be like. So that's the best thing is that I sort of work out how it's going to work. But then I leave her with all the creative yeah, side exactly. of it. And then that's why I got back and it looks fab. Yeah, it's it? brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. In fact, we had a free, uh, uh, that one weekend just recently, the prize was, what weekend was that? We did something. Oh, the Great Outdoors weekend. And we had like a beehive bag and everybody oh, was yes, going crazy about it. I'm just wondering if I could convert this into a bag. You could, yes. Oh, by bag. using some of that extra fabric. You could I'll do. work it out. Mm, you could have a little bag, yeah. Okay. Be a very narrow opening though, wouldn't it? Well, that's what I'm thinking. You'd have to you work have to cut out the top it. off of yeah. it. So you start off with um, the handle. I've made the handle in advance just to speed things up. So on the panel, 
I've got my own panel here, luckily, I can show you. So the first thing you need to do is cut everything out. Now, the instructions show you, tell you what the pieces are and what you need to cut out. And just remember that they're all labelled. Right. You, you might think when you're cutting them out, I'll remember what they are. And mostly you will, but the wrong things you forget. So when you cut them out, cut round um, the outer edge of everything. There's all the seam allowances are included in there, so you don't need to cut outside it. That's all put in there already. Okay. Um, cut round the outside of it and then cut the little label off that's on the top. The t labels are always above. Yeah. And just pin it <coughs> on and then you okay. remember. I mean, I know it seems obvious, but because there's lots of pieces on here, you might forget. So um, you've got all the bees. Now there's enough bees to put eight bees on your beehive. You right. don't have to put all eight are on. These can I just interrupt you? Are these exclusive to us? Yes. Oh, yeah, completely. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Exclusive to you completely and brand new. No, no, I knew they were brand new, yeah. but I just suddenly thought, because Amy was saying you've got a website. We do have a website, but we don't put the things that we do on Sewing Street on there. The oh, so, so there, are other, there might be other projects yes, on but there. But they are but exclusive Oh, wow. To you. Oh, now I need to talk to you about that then. Okay. All right, carry on, <laughs> carry on. Um, so cut. So there's enough. There's enough bees. Now it explains in the instructions with some things like the bees in the door. You need to cut roughly outside it because you're going to use bonder web. With the other bits, you cut around the edges. But it, all right. of that is in the uh -huh. instructions. So the handle is like wood because right. obviously a beehive has a wooden handle. Does it? <laughs> Just go with. Go with. <laughs> bit of um, artistic license here. The fact it's got a door as well. So, well, yeah. but that's like you know, little Paul when he goes through his mm. There's fairy doors all round Birmingham. He keeps taking pictures of the fairy really? doors. Really? Yeah. Where are they? I've never they're seen. They're hidden. Them. You just walk along, and they're just and they're, they're just, just in little people oh. put attach them to treat. Ow, Elliot, that was very loud. <laughs> I've never seen the fairy doors. Have you not? I'll go to Paul's Instagram. I've got one on my skirting board. You can get like sticky on one. Yeah, yeah, for the kids and everything mm. that normally is for. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> I've got one. No, actually, it's a mouse hole. Have you got mice in your house? Well, you have got mice, but that's not yeah, what Yeah, that's, that's countryside. Called. We've all got mice. Yeah, I've got we? mice. Yeah. They keep going in the back of the drawer in the dresser and taking the boiled sweets out. And well, I've got boiled... Oh, in the dresser in the kitchen, in the not kitchen, in your dressing room. Right, yeah. in the kitchen. And then they take the sweets from there and put them in the drawer next to it and eat them in there. The mice do? They do I don't... Are you sure that's not your kids? No, no, because this... Is, uh, no, they wouldn't have... It's the back of the drawers, there's a gap. And I keep finding sweets from one drawer in another oh. one. Oh... And then they've eaten through them because they're all chewed. And they take the wrappers off before they eat them. No, they just chew through them and then they've started eating the tablecloths in there as well. Oh, no, time to get rid. Clever mice. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. sorry. Anyway. So the handle is made out yeah, of the, the wood. Yeah, the handle is wood. Yeah. So cut it, you can cut them all out. You know, it depends what you're going to make, but cut out the bits as you need them. So if you're doing the key ring, um, there's the, the two body pieces of the front, the back, and there's the wings. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing the... Tea cosy, there's you've got your little strips to go across the Okay, bottom, just so. talk to me about the tea cosy. So that's the front. That's the tea cosy front. So you use that as a template because what we try to do as much as possible is avoid templates. Right. Because templates are a pain, aren't they? Mm. Because you either, you've got to trace them because you yeah. don't yeah. really want to cut them out. So we try to avoid them. So like when we did the flower pots, the template was, a, was on the fabric. Right, okay. So this is the template and you use that to cut the back and the lining pieces. Right, so it's lined as well then. So you could use the cushion as the back of yeah. this or another fabric or if you buy the fat quarter. So that's the same fabric, isn't it? Yes, yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. So, or if you use the fat quarter panel, you can use that. But that is the template. Yeah. So if you don't want to make a cushion, that's your back and then you can use your own fabric. And then you've got the binding strips that go across the bottom and the loop that you need your own fabric to go around the edge to do the curvy bit. <laughs> You're having landslides today. Yeah. So anyway, cut out the bits you need and it will tell you in the instructions that there are a couple like the bees and the doors that you need to cut out a little bit bigger, but okay. everything else, um, the seam allowance is all in there. Then you make the handle. The handles, I've made it in advance because it's quite simple. You just fold it in half, turn it right sides out and okay. top stitch. It's got anything inside it? So no, 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 it's just quite stiff. Because it's, um, because it's sort of folded in half and half, it makes it quite stiff, and then yeah. you top stitch it. So that's the handle. Then you take the top of the beehive that I've cut out before. Right. And pin is my that wood as well? No, this is basket weave. All right. Okay. <laughs> because of that one I saw in the garden gardening catalogue. I don't know whether people actually have them, but they're like little coat, you know, wicker. Beehives. Well, they must, they must have them because I, th that's what that bag was last week, yeah. and I've, I've I've never seen one because obviously where I live, everyone's got. The yeah, these are like, I mean, I don't know how big they are because I only saw them in the catalogue, but they're like um, oh, yes. wicker yeah. things. So you take one beehive because the handle is in the top, obviously, and to make it extra secure, when you sew it in, 
measure about a centimetre and make it stick out. Because when you then sew it into the seam, it's a bit more secure. If yeah. you sew it there, because you obviously, you might put a lot of weight in yours, then it's it might pull out. And everyone's going to grab that, aren't they? For, straight away, that's what you're going yeah, to you're gonna lift it up. Yeah, you're going to lift it up. So just measure about a centimetre. Now, it needs to be in the centre. Obviously, it's probably better if you actually measure it. What I do rather than measure is I fold it in half and then I can see that that's in the centre. Yeah. So you're just sandwiching it in between the Sandwich. two. Sandwich. So you can, depend. you know, if you're fairly confident, you can just stitch this together. If you want to be sure it's absolutely straight, then tack it to the first one. Tack oh, it. yes, I see what you mean, yeah. And then tack it to the second one. And what's the seam allowance? Yeah, it's a centimetre. A centimetre? Centimetre. OK. Don't ask me why. It just is. You have to make these decisions and it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Some people use... I find it difficult because I change between centimetres and inches. Yeah. And, oh, it's very tricky to know what to do. So reverse stitch at the beginning and then just stitch a bit more slowly when you get to the handle because it's a bit thicker. So, mm -hmm. and what I say in the instructions is once you've sewn it in, then go backwards and go back over it. And then it's really secure. Yep. What machine are you using? Then? The 550. I am the, using the Elm Experience 550. Fantastic. They're in stock at the moment. Oh, it's very nice. This actually. Oh, 12 o'clock tomorrow. Jane from Elm is in at 12 o'clock tomorrow to talk about. It's them. nice actually because I've well, I've just had to thread it all up. It was they're very, easy, aren't very they? Very easy. Mm. That's I did important. the 570 the other day. It's so easy. 570 sold out. By the way, there are now no 570As left. Congratulations if you got the last one. Yeah, it had no bobbin and no foot. Oh, well, that they just me. go walk about, mm. don't they? I think they get all used by different people. Anyway, it's all nice now. So look, there's the handle. Right, let's have a look. Yeah. And that will be, because all the seam allowances are included in here, um, that will be a perfect circle now. Right, OK. Because the way it's worked out is of it's course, got the extra yeah. bit on. Now, I have wadded the um, door wadded. stop. Wadded. <laughs> it's the technical term. <laughs> I have wadded the whole door stop, the front, the sides and the base. Um, it gives it a bit more structure, right? But also, I think when you're filling something, if it's wadded as well, it gives it a fuller appearance. And when you wadded it, what wadding did you use? What a wadding did I use? <laughs> I used some wadding that I just found. Oh, the eighty twenty. Yes. Right. Okay. Bit of wadding. So the easiest way to do this is to you do it afterwards because what I didn't want was wadding in the seam because then that would make yes. the seam bulky. Yeah. So you have to do it afterwards. So you put it onto a square of wadding, like this. Could you use any wadding? Any wadding, to yeah. be honest, doesn't ma really matter. It's you know, it's not because you're going to. It's going to be anything special. It just, I think, when you're filling things, if you put wadding in, it fills it better. Yeah. So you need to now sew this into place, but um, within the seam allowance. So you could tack it by hand if you wanted to, um, or I just do it like an. Well, half a centimetre or something. Just remember to move the handle out of the way. Don't stitch through the handle. Oh, yes, yeah. Because um, your doorstop will be extremely difficult to pick up if your handle's flat. So, and this is, be the reason I sew this in is because I'm going to sew it to the sides in a bit and it's easier if it's all sewn into place first. So okay, if people are worried it's going to stick, could they just like 505 spread that into place so it doesn't move anywhere? Yeah, you could do, yeah. That would work perfectly. So once you've done that, cut round the edge of it. Yeah. Like so. I should be looking, shouldn't I, to make sure you can see. There we go. It's right, Cat's directing now. Oh, where's Elliot gone? Uh, he, uh, he's gone for a coffee now. So he's, had, he's had one break in the last day. He's gone for a coffee now. Um, it was really funny the other day that Elliot and Hannah swapped jobs. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and um, Hannah wouldn't get, when he came back, Hannah went, oh, I love this. I'm not moving me. I'm staying in. She has quite a nice job where you just sit and press buttons. You have no responsibility. You just go zoom. Yeah, zoom. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, I wonder what this button does. And be like, oh, oh no. no. Well, we had guests and everything. It was just me on my own. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, she was brilliant. She was very, very good. Right, so you cut around there. Right, then, because um, this doesn't stand up very well because it's flat there, so if you just cut a little hole in the back. Yeah. We're watching. Oh, yeah. I wasn't in the middle. Just cut a little hole in the back and then get the end of your handle and poke it through. Oh, OK. And then it'll stand up better. Oh. Because if so otherwise... So what happened to this one then? Oh, well, yeah, no, but it is standing up. It's just floppy. Mine's standing up. But apparently. it would be, it would lay flat, you see, whereas that will stand up. Well, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> it would just sort of be lying like that. Like that. Like that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is better. I'll show you that side. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you Have put a, a little hole. Yeah. So that's the, the top. It looks like one of those okay. things, doesn't it? Yeah. Ding. It what? What are those things oh, called? Oh, I've got those. I Tings. ring them every Tibetan bells. I do those every morning. You used to have the them two in little school. Tibetan symbols. Oh, at school. You oh, little symbols yeah. you're thinking about. Yeah, and you'd about. go ding. Oh, no, I do. I've got my Tibetan symbols that I clang every morning before I leave. Why? To give you clarity and energy for Does the day. Does it work? Well, no, obviously. <laughs> but my neighbours, I'm leaving the back doors mm. open because I've lo loaded the car up and everything. Yeah. And I do my six ding. things before ding. I leave. They must think it's six o'clock in the morning, but it isn't. And that gives you clarity? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try that then. Yeah. You need so, to buy them first. Oh, yeah, and I've got, I'll make my own. Yeah. So that's that's that done. Okay. Um, now you need to do the sides. I have done mine in advance to save a bit okay, of time. Yeah. So the sides are exactly the same thing. You sew the wadding onto the back. Right. All the way round. Yeah. Because um, it makes it more padded. Uh -huh. Then, now if you look at it, this one I've sewn and this one I haven't. If you look at it, there are very faint lines printed onto here. They're like hoops. So these are the quilting lines, and that gives the um, beehive more, re it just makes it a bit more realistic. Oh, there they are. Can yep. you see them? Yeah. So they are very, very faint, but by quilting along them, it just gives a bit more structure. Okay, now, you need, these aren't beehives. Are they not? Made. It's a bee skep. A bee skep? Right, it's a wicker skep used by beekeepers to remove errant bees' nests oh. and then take them to a better <laughs> area to nest in. Oh, okay. So I should call it the bee skep doorstep. You should call it the wicker step yep. skep. But it's nicer than a beehive, isn't it? Yeah. It's more interesting. Yeah. It's a bee skep. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's my fault. See, I saw them in the So catalog. did not say that in the catalogue? No, it didn't catalog. say that. It said beehive. Okay. I thought I'll have that. Yeah. She just shows the other side so we can see the lines. Right, of the so that one I haven't stitched, but this okay. one I have, so you can see it better. So yeah. just use, try and use, um, I use like a dark brown cotton here, and then you can see it better yeah. there, can't you? So just stitch along those. You don't have to do that, but it just gives it a little bit more yeah. detail. It's nice to have it a bit quilted as well. You could also, because you've got the... Now, is, I don't know anything about wicker work, basket making, but you know you have the up ones that you weave the up, it round. Yes. You could almost uh, quilt down those. Oh, as well, you could, because these are all printed on, so yeah. you could quilt down. Yeah, so then if you yeah. follow the lines of that yeah. as well, if you want to. because they all do run in lines, so yeah. you could do that. Yeah. And then it would, it just gives it a bit more structure, that's yeah, all. Yeah, a bit more body. So what you have to do next is you've got to sew them together. Thank you, Julie, for that information about the beasts. Yeah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Seems oh, like Kate sent it as well on, on the um, email. Um, now, if you've been very particular, I will make sure you quilt both of them. If you've been very particular, try and match up your lines. Oh, yes. So if you really want to do that, then just put a pin through one line and into another one vertically like that. And then pin them horizontally. And then you know that'll match up. So oh, yes. I, do, I mean, they, they will match up because obviously they're printed so they match up. But, you know, you've quilted them and pressed them and things move and change a bit. It's not the end of the world. If you are being particularly fussy, then that's mm -hmm. always a good thing to do. You see, I'm not sure what a, one of those sort of white wooden beehives would have looked like in a doorstop. Would, would it look, look like my hedgehog hotel that my next door neighbour made for me? Would they? Would it have looked realistic? This is more attractive, isn't it? Oh no, this is pretty. This is more the romantic beehive yes. thing. Yes, I knew what mine's got a door. Yeah. <gasps> oh, hang on a minute. Oh. Good point. Before Good point. I do this, before, before I do, do this, this, before I sew it together. But after you've quilted it. Yes, after you've quilted it. Yeah. Good point. What was it I forgot to do last time? There was something I forgot to do last time. And then I got to the end. So before you do that, I have even got this ready as well. And a button. Is your iron on? Yes. <laughs> Is now. You forgot the roof on the bird box, apparently. I did. I wasn't in, obviously. I did. I almost, almost put the whole thing together and I went, oh, I've forgotten to put the roof on. Oh, don't worry. Janice was doing one of Beth Dudley's pleated, not pleated, darted bags. Mm. And she was she was busy sewing away and I was here chatting away. And then she said, and then you bind it. And I went, oh, did you do, did you do the darts afterwards then? She went, oh, completely <gasps> forgotten to do all the darts. <laughs> I know, and I've actually prepped all of this ready to do. Yeah. So um, fold it in half yeah. and then mark the centre with a couple of pins because that's Does important. it have to go in the centre? Uh, no, it doesn't have to go in okay. the centre. But I think I think the way it sits, no, you can put it where you like really, but because it sits on the side, I think it looks nice in the centre. It doesn't yeah. have to be in the centre. Yeah. I mean, if it's off a bit, it doesn't really matter. So remember I said at the beginning with this one, you cut it outside. You yes, cut yes, it yeah. on it because. Hang on, we'll have a look at that. 
There you go. So you cut it just vaguely outside. Yeah. And then you press Bonderweb onto the back. Now, if you haven't got Bonderweb, don't worry, you don't no, have to. No, we've got Bonderweb. Okay, Bonderweb. If you haven't got any at home, it doesn't matter. No, but you can buy some. But it's easier with Bonderweb. Yeah. Always have Bonderweb. I have masses of it at home. The thing is, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, a person's gonna do loads and loads and loads of projects. When the when the roll comes in, it's best mm. to buy, best to buy on the roll. But for little things, it's just it's one of those things. It's really useful having a packet like that for just small. Oh yeah, things, yeah, totally. Anything that you want to applique, because you don't have to use Bonderweb. You could just cut it out and sew it on. Yeah. But it's so much easier. So press a bit of Bonderweb paper side up on there, and then cut round it. It's easier to. Um, and neater because it makes the fabric a bit stiffer. So if you press the bonder web and then cut rather than mm -hmm. cut and press, you'll get quite a nice neat edge. So cut all the way around the edge of the door frame. Now, which scissors do you use? These are actually my favourite scissors. Are they your fabric cutting scissors? Though? Yeah, these are my favourite ones, these okay. Fiskars ones. Oh, are they yours or they are? No, they're yours. Okay, so you're cutting through paper and through Yeah, fabric. I know. Well, no, no, no. I've no. always cut my bonder web with my cutting shears. Well, I do as well. Right? But then, we ha who was it we had in the other day? And they were like, on no account must you cut out your... B and it's like different rules for different people. Well, do you it? know what? I don't... How often are you going to do that? I mean, I think if you do it occasionally... I think it's different to that than if you're cutting newspaper or the paper out your photocopying yeah. machine. I know. And it is like once all... It's not very often, isn't it? Anyway, I've never found it... Anyway, if it blunts them, it gives you a good excuse to buy a new pair, doesn't yeah. it? But they're your favourites. These, I love these Fisker scissors because I like the white hand. They're really good. Oh, the white hand, you can see where they are. Yeah, no, they're work, just really nice scissors. They're quite, we're well, not allowed to say cheap. They're quite inexpensive. Affordable. Affordable for the quality that they are. You're not allowed to say cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I said it the other day, and I said, you're not allowed to say cheap. So um, to take your bonder web off, just score twice. Because don't take the bonder web off from the outside. Take it from the inside. Because if you take it off, if you peel it off from the outside, it makes the fabric fray. Yeah. Which isn't so bad with a bigger shape like this, but when you're doing something a little bit fiddly, it does make it yeah. fray. So I'm going to get my ironing board. Oh, we've got all oh, this. It's nice. Yeah, we had to get it because the, the other well, one's the other so one gone all brown, hasn't it? This one's all clean and lovely. So um, make sure that you put it in the halfway point. Now put it right at the bottom because the seam allowance has been already allowed onto here. Right, okay. Because it's much more secure. This will be sewn into a seam. Yeah. That's why you put it on at this stage because it's more secure. Yeah. Um, you can take your pins out now. Get hold of your iron. It would have been funny if you'd done a door that was slightly ajar so you could have a bee going With in With a bee it. face coming out. I know. Yeah. That would have been... I thought it was, maybe it was a bit silly having a door anyway. So I did think about that. But this one's got hinges. Oh, okay. So you need you do need to sew it on because bonder web will never stay forever. So what you can do, um, just sew around the edge. On the one I made there, I sewed around the edge. I sewed along the hinges, around the oh, inner yes, you door. Have. You've done zigzag around the edge. You've done straight stitch around the panels of the door and mm. you've done straight stitch on the uh, hinges as well yes but and, that, and any extra detail like that you can do it by hand or you can do it by machine it just you know it depends on the time that you've got but you know hand embroidery would look like that you could have roses around the yeah. door yeah and then just get a little button don't yeah. have to do this but i did and i yeah. just put it on the handle because it looks quite sweet okay where have you placed it on that one well, i just put it on the handle because the handle is already printed so i just put have it on you got two hinges on yours yeah. Oh, yeah, so have I. <laughs> the second inch is quite low down, isn't it? Yeah, it is on that one because that was the first one I made and then I went back to Amy and said we need to move the hinges OK, up. perfect, because the doorknob's fairly low. Yes, and that's the good thing about making them once and then we refine it. So, yeah, I said you need to add a bit of extra to okay, the bottom perfect. and move the hinges up. So you don't have to put that on, but, you know, you could put all sorts of details. No, put nice. a sign, yeah. bees, or whatever. So put that on and then sew that on. I'm not going to do that now. OK. But um, that's in place. Then you can sew it together. How did I forget? Do you know what? I, it's a good job we talk, mentioned the door because I'd have sewn this together and realised I hadn't done it. I mean, to be honest, if you do what I do and you forget, you can still do it after you've done this Just together. Just a bit awkward. Just though, a little bit more to, yeah. awkward. So, obviously, there's going to be a turning gap somewhere in this beehive because we've got to stuff it. So I always try and put the turning gap in the easiest place to fill. Uh -huh. And on this one, it's in the base. Okay, With YouTube's some... frozen, Elliot, just so you know. Right, so I'm just going to sew this together down the sides.
Ooh. I always forget to put the foot down. Did my Why you use the button at home? Well, my machine at home puts its foot down on its own, so I always forget. Oh, the foot. I thought you meant the pedal. Sorry, no, the no, the yeah, actual yeah. foot. Oh, does it? No, no. Fancy. So you forget, you get used to your own, don't you? Yeah. So um, press the seams open because you'll get an you'll get a nice a flatter finish if you do that. And luckily, it's easy enough to do that on the here. There we go. Yeah, but look, 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 oh yeah, look how far back mine is though, Elliot, sorry. Oh, it's way back, look at this. What, on YouTube? On Facebook? Facebook. I know, I watched the other, on Monday, when I was watching on Monday, I got really confused. Oh, it now it's jumped back. to you using the iron, so we're all right now, we're catching up now, we're catching up. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's like watching something on plus one, isn't it? <laughs> well, not quite, yeah. <laughs> So that's the sides and the top. Now we're going to make the base. Right. Now with the base, you do exactly the same thing. You put the wadding on. Um, I'll need to move the iron. You've got a seam in it. Yes, it's in two halves. Right. Why is that? Because that's where we're going to stuff it. Oh, I thought you left a gap open. No, I said it. you have to leave a gap somewhere. And on this one, I've done it on the base. I don't want it in the sides. Oh, sorry. The sides is very yeah. visible. Yeah. Sometimes I put it in the sides. Well, no, no, it's a much better way to do it. If you've, if you've got when I made the, the flower pots, I put it in the side because the base had such a, a pattern with a hole in it, like the base of a flower pot. I yeah. didn't want to cut that, so I put it in the sides. But with this one, it's in the base. Yeah. So again, the circles are cut, so they so they've got the extra seam allowance. Yeah. So when you join, so what you do is pin them together. Remember to wad them first. Again, you don't have to do that, but it does make the base a bit nicer. And if you fill yours with gravel like I did, it's not quite as lumpy. Yeah. Although. What did I make the other day? Oh, I made something the other day, and I bought fish tank gravel. That's really good. Oh, okay. That was useful. I didn't have any. So you... I've got some recycled pellets That's here. really... I didn't have any of that. So I buy fish tank gravel. You only have to shout. I could have dropped some round <laughs> for you. <laughs> only. Those are really nice. The smaller that you can use in the size of what you fill, the better. Because mine there, I did it with gravel from my path, and it's quite lumpy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I felt that. You can feel it's yeah. like... Whereas that, and also, because it's quite fine, it sits better, it sort of collapses a bit better. And you made a bag to put inside, Jess. Yes, but... Is your gravel in a bag? It is. But the recycling bags, which is, I say the other week, a poo bag, but actually the... We, <laughs> a dog's poo bag. Yes, yeah. the, but the recycling bags you get for food waste <clears throat> are yes, perfect. I said that, yeah. Yeah, but I know after I'd said the poo bag, and I went yeah. and thought that. But also, I did that for the next one, and they're bigger. So you can just tie a knot and it's easier to get them in through the hole when it's a lot bigger. Yeah. But The only um, thing I'd be worried about is that they are... Um, <laughs> what, when well, you, they are biodegradable, yeah, aren't they? so after, over the years, <laughs> will it have biodegraded away inside? Yes, yeah, probably. And, but you'll have sewn it all in by then, won't you? Yeah, mm. oh, and apparently it only does that when it goes in water. Oh, does it? The sides dry, they don't biodegrade. So, so when they're buried in the ground, oh, they have to go in wet. Oh. Or when they go in the compass. Okay. They have to go my own, but oh. they are. I think it's because they're not crunchy. They're nice. They don't yeah, have very, a sound, yes, yeah. and that's the best thing. Or you can make a fabric bag. Of course, the so calico one. Measure. Um, can't remember. I think it's four centimeters from each end. Oh, and Claire's pick. Facebook is ahead. Claire's Facebook is ahead of Freeview. Oh, what have I done? So what's she going to do now? <laughs> 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 so measure. Um, you don't need to put a pin in the middle, but it just yeah. helps to keep the whole thing. So how far down do you sew then? Uh, I think it was four centimetres. Okay. So it's it's saying the instructions? Yeah, yeah it's, all in, it's all in there, but I, I think it was four centimetres. About that. Okay. It does, you know, it doesn't matter too much. I just sort of measured how much was easy enough for me to um, fill it up. Uh-huh. You want the holes got to be small enough and big enough as well, so that you can fill it up, but also that you're not sewing too much together. So don't forget to reverse stitch at either end of this seam because it's going to have a bit of wear yeah. to it. Now, this is this makes life easy if you do this bit now. Trim all your ends off. I hate the ends. Mm. I'm a bit of an end trimmer. It always looks so untidy, doesn't it? It's got loads of ends. Well, also, when you're doing something like this and you've got a gap, these ends seem to come through. So yeah. um, press it this open. And then this is the state. Then you can press the bit between as well because it's not a very big gap, so it's enough that it will just open like that. Yeah. 
press it quite firmly. Then what I do is I then tack it down by hand because when you come to stuff it, you, you know, your hand is going in and out of there because you're going to stuff it through this hole. Yeah. It's going in and out and in and out and you're having to you readjust the wadding. Hand, I just you? tack oh, okay. along here and along here. You see what I mean? Yeah. Um, because you're going in and out and you're readjusting the wadding and mm -hmm. putting the filling and everything and it starts coming undone. Then when you sew the hole up later, you can then take the tack and stitch. It's just a lot easier because you're going in and out of that hole if you don't tack them. Yeah. Um, but by could hand... Could you top stitch? Because it's on the bottom. Could you well, yeah, no, you could. You could top... Right yes, you could do just to hold it down yeah. easily. Because <clears throat> you can see, look, it matches up the pattern. Yeah. So it looks like a whole thing. But you could do, but I just hand tack it because... It's just easier to sew it together and it stops it coming undone. Okay. So there's your base and there's the top. So they're sewn in in exactly the same way. So you can do either. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. So should we do the base? Yeah. Right. It's already divided into half because you've got the seams, but we're going to divide it into four. So put the seams together mm -hmm. like so. And then fold it out to there and put a pin through and then do the same thing on the other side. And then you're in quarters. Right. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing with the base. We've already got our halves. So just fold it in half so that your seams match. Uh -huh. And then in quarters. There we go. Now, to get the sort of curved edge to go around a circle, it's best to give it a little snip. This is a one centimetre seam allowance. Cut that off. Um, so just a little bit less than a centimetre, which you can measure if you like. You can judge by eye. And I usually clip them about a centimetre apart. If you um, measure, if you're not oh, sure. You beforehand? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Does one not do that? No, 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 no. It's just interesting to see. Because if you are dressmaking, you wouldn't. But um, Why is that then? I don't know. I'd never even thought about that. I would have thought it would be quite hard to clip as you... Do you clip it as you go then? On dressmaking. Yeah. Rosie sent a message saying, Morning, I got lizard gravel from the pet shop. It was crushed walnuts, are great for pin cushions and keeps your pins sharp from Rosie in Edinburgh. I always use that for pin cushions. What, and so in the it bottom smells of, nice. You've done what? For pin cushions, I always buy, you can buy them in kilo bags. It's crushed walnuts for the bottom of reptile cages. Oh, is it? And you put them in pin, cage, pin cushions. Yeah. And it feels lovely. It's got really nice, like sand. But you know, our friend Alistair, he does his scented, he's a, he's a crushed walnuts as well, like, but he does all different yeah. scented ones. Yeah. But it works, it keeps the pin sharp. It smells really yeah. nice. Oh. And they're quite cheap as well. Yeah. So now you've just got some. Our lizards obviously like living on. Yes, I know. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Who would have thought? So match up all your quarter seam, all your halves and your quarters now. So actually what I'm going to do, I can't remember whether I did it with this one, rather than matching up the seam to the seam, because mm -hmm. you've got a lot of bulk then, match up oh, clever. That's the a good seam idea, yeah. to not the seam, and then you've got less bulk, otherwise you've got four seams yes, going on course, in one yeah. place. Sometimes you can't do that. If you snip these, the corners off this seam, Mm -hmm. That just reduces it a bit more as well, as long as you don't nick any of the seam. Christine says that wicker looks real. Did she take it from a photo? I don't know, actually. Didn't ask her. She just did it. That's the magic of I don't ask see. about I told these things. the brains. I know. Behind. I don't ask these things because I say, oh, look, could you just... But I don't go into the difficulties of it. It's like no. when we did the flower pot. I said, could I have soil, please? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot says, what's it like having such a talented daughter? Oh, that's really funny, Elliot. That's what I wasn't going to say. Mm, that's really funny. Everyone knows it's a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> They're not related, by the way. They're not related. It's not funny. It's not funny, Elliot. I'll have him later. Yeah, right, so now you've He's got... He's in one of those moods today. Is so he? Yeah. Right. Go on. So we're now going to go between the quarters. Now, it will fit because it's been worked out to fit. So what I do is, because you, you will need to stretch it a bit, because again, we've wadded it, we've sewn it, we've pressed it, things change, don't yeah. they? Is I sort of just ease it a bit by hand first, and mm -hmm. then I can see if there's any excess anywhere. 
and then you can ease it back again. But it yeah. will fit, you just stretch it a bit. When you do a curve on a thing, well, when I do a curve on a thing, I always put my pins vertically. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, that's good. And you go, no, you don't do that. Why well, is there always other things in there? It's like a random pot of... Well, it's because Kat hasn't had a tidy up. Normally she puts all the pins in the pear-shaped one, in their colour and their size. Oh, in that one? Yeah, they're normally all colour and size Ooh, themed, you see. That's not... nicer, isn't it? Yeah. I'm having the pear. Okay. But they could, you could have any pin. When yeah, but then that's it. got a sewing machine needle in it. Yeah. It's all that's sorts there. Hasn't sorted it. It's like, um, it's like one of those pots, isn't it, with all the bits and pieces. Why well, can't Hannah sort it? Have you seen Hannah's shelving unit? Hannah was in charge of putting everything in the shelves, right? Which is brilliant, <laughs> but there's no, it's in Hannah order. Oh, okay. So you go, where are the quick unpicks? There's no queue here. So is so it random then? It's, it's, ha, no, it's the way Hannah knows it is. So she knows that the quick unpicks are between uh, fat quarters and buttons. So it's not alphabetical or no, anything then? No. Oh, strange. So do this all the way round. But you see, it will fit, but you just, because you haven't got a very big distance, you can just stretch it. Yeah. You see, in dressmaking, what you do is you mark, you put the quarter mark next yeah. to the quarter mark, and then quarter mark next to the and then you go in the middle of that one, so you then have a Yeah, mark. oh, I suppose I have done. I've yeah, no, no, that's, but that is exactly the same as you're doing, but you, you just kind of do it, so you have always, then the ease, if you do ease it in, is all equally eased all the way And when around. do you snip it then? Once it's been sewn. Oh. Oh, see, I snip it because that get, makes it fit. Mm. But then in dressmaking, you'd never have this thickness, would you? No, you I guess have not. You wouldn't have silk or cotton or something. Which you know? looked, which is quite thick, bent the pin. Yeah. Rubbish. You don't often put wadding in sleeves. <laughs> oh, not Carol said it was sitting outside, but it's too chilly in the shade. Oh. It's Went quite, in for 10 minutes. It's nice and cool so. in here, isn't it? Mm. It's what? It's nice and cool in here. It's got the air con it's on it. I've got these magic hay fever pills, which are brilliant. But last night, this morning, my hay fever was really bad. Why is that then? Is there some I think particular it's really pollen? High. I think it, Hannah was really suffering those days oh. she was in. So, this is a bit boring now, isn't it? What, what? This is a bit boring now. No, it's not boring no. at all. <laughs> While you're pinning it, do you want me to just recap? Yeah, go on then. Don't do any sewing or anything. No, I won't. I won't. I'll right. just carry on pinning. So, where is it? Here it is. Bundle is you get the beehive, Amber makes that you get the pattern for the not only the beehive, you also get the um, tea cozy, you get the front front, the front of the cushion, two coasters, and the you can make a little bee which you can do whatever you want with. We've put it onto a key ring. And then all the instructions for all five projects are in here, right? All five projects are in there. Works out to five pounds a project, doesn't it? But that not only the pattern is five pounds a project because you then get all the fabric to make all the projects. So there is your cushion front. Or if you don't want to make a cushion, it could become the back of the tea cozy. There is your tea cozy front. You need to use that as your template to cut your back and your linings out. There are your bindings for the bottom of your uh, tea cozy. Where's this, where's this binding from then? Oh, that's an extra piece you have to have yourself because oh, okay. that's got to be cut on the bias. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you about that in a second then. And then here are your two coasters. Here are all your bumblebees for your beehive. And here's your little stuff bee to go into your key ring. There's your handle, there's your door. All of these, uh, no, here, this B is extra, that B is extra. You get all of that on your panel, plus your instructions for $24.99. Right, Amber makes always so popular when we bring it to you. Be careful if you've got anything in your basket, that's all we're saying. Right, now for the first time ever, ever, we have done, oh, actually, if you bought this, you could cut your bias binding for your Well, I cozy. did, I, um, <coughs> just to interrupt. Yeah, just interrupt, that's right. Um, I cut the bias binding for my tea cosy. I used the fat quarter panel. Yeah, yeah. And I managed to get the two linings and the back from one fat quarter. Oh, okay. So if you so if you've bought if you've bought the the pat the panel, you could use from one of these fat yeah. quarters, you do the back and the, the two, two linings. linings and then from cozy. the yellow one I from cut the yellow one, you cut the bias binding. I cut the bias. Perfect. 
Or, or you could just, or, or if you just want nice fabric, you don't yeah. need to remake that. Uh, also, you don't have to have bought the this to buy this. You might want this because, you know, Lucy Brennan loves the bumblebee. She'd buy this just having a stash, you know what I mean? And then it would suddenly appear in a quilt or an embroidery project or something like that. Huge, they're massive. Look, look at the size of these fat quarters. Absolutely enormous. And not only do you get the fat quarters, look across the top there, you get little, um, this took forever to make. I made this and your quilt labels and things like that. They're all on there. Plus extra bumblebees, plus an extra beehive or two. And it's just coming in on that now. There you go. So there's your bumblebees, your beehives, more bumblebees. It took forever. All of that, plus those huge, for, that shouldn't be 19, that should be a lot more than Completely and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street and inspired by Amber Makes. Right, sorry, carry on. Right, I've, I've pinned it together all the way round now, so yeah. have I got time to... Oh, well, blimey, look, the hour's gone. I, I was know. thinking that we must be about halfway through now, didn't No, I, I know. So I'm going to sew this okay, together and then that. I can show you what it looks like oh, when it's done. Do so, so I always sew it from the top, from the straighter edge, not the curvy edge if that makes sense. Yeah. Just because you can then, if if there's any, the, the the bit that's the curve, so the circular bottom, will stay flat, but it's the curved edge that you might need when you get to it to ease yes, or yeah. that might become creased. So always sew from the top because you don't have to worry about the bottom, that's going to stay straight. Yeah. And that's why if you put your pins in vertically, then they hold those bits together better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't slip round. If they were in lying, like lying down, it, the fabric could move along. Where if you've got them in vertically, like little soldiers, it holds it in place, doesn't it, as you're going round? Just remember to take them out. Yes. Because it's very tempting, I think, when they're in vertically, you think, oh, I'll just sew over that. Yeah. But I, not only will it break your needle, it's not very good for your machine either, is it? No. Or your eyes. No. So the, the time that you spend, you know, just measuring the quarter points and clipping and everything, it's mm. worth it because now sewing it together is reasonably easy. Because I know a lot of people think, oh, you know, I'm sewing a straight to a circle. I don't really like doing that. Yeah, but exactly. if you've put, if you've done that, it's quite simple. Of course, the stock of the panel, the strippy, uh, the, the fat quarter panel is gone. We did have hundreds and hundreds of them. Oh, there it is. What are you kicking about over there? I just, well, I've got so many pins, I'm trying to stuff them in that pair. Because I want to get round here to show you what it looks like when it's finished. Got a long way round, isn't it? Yeah, well, you designed it. <laughs> it's a really long way round. Oh, are you? Only halfway round? No. Oh. No. I'm nearly there. Good. Nearly there. Then I can show what it looks like. So when you do the top, that's... Oh, God, I've just sewn over a pin after what I just said. What are you muttering on about? I've just sewn over a pin. It was, oh. it was little and hiding. You know Mark Francis did that and the whole thing's clogged the machine up and everything. <laughs> I pushed it in too far, I think. When you do this, open it up and press this seam open at this stage. I'll just do a little bit to show you because it will lie flatter. Obviously, you can't press open a seam like that, so just press open because it's not flat. Yeah. The curve, the um, snippy bit. Yeah. And then you turn it inside out through the hole in the bottom. And then you, I'll just show you what it looks like. But you do, you attach the top in exactly the same way. That would be a bit of a tighter curve to do the top. Yeah, it's fine though. It works. It's fine. It's, it works fits really nicely okay. so do that in exactly the same way uh -huh. and then you've got so obviously keep it inside out but you just turn it out through the hole in the bottom so then you've got the whole door stop like this ready mm -hmm. but it's yeah, I mean in, in a way well, it's quicker because it's a smaller thing but it, it, it fits really well yeah so that's the door stop finish you leave that for one side now obviously put the top on and then you're going to do the bees and I'm going to just no, yeah, right. show you the bees yeah. so Press bondweb to the wrong side of one B that's cut out a bit bigger. One B? Just one B. Okay. For now. Oh, okay. Okay. So the Bs are in pairs. 
there, and they're different sorts of bees. You've got flat bees and flying bees. So where's my panel? They're on the pa they're on the panel. They're already on the panel. Oh, hang on. I think I've actually. Oh, I have cut them out as a separate piece here, so you can see. So there are different yeah. bees. There are flat bees. Yeah. And flying bees. Right. And they're in pairs. Right. Because they need to be double sided. Oh, I wondered how you're going to get around that. They're just called B. B. But there are pairs of them. Yeah. So there are 16, so there are eight bees. So you only need to put Bondaweb onto the back of one, one. half of the bee, yeah. make them a bit bigger. And then once you press that on, um, cut out another bee. Yeah. You don't need Bondaweb on that one. Now I'm going to cut him out. Right. Cut this bee out. Well, I decided that I didn't want the bees didn't need to be double sided if I was going to sew them completely to the doorstop. But because I want to look like them flying, when right. I sew them to the doorstop, I only sewed them with a couple of stitches in right. the middle of the body. Yeah. So you can see they're sort of a bit flappy. Yeah. So they look like they've just landed and therefore they had to be double sided. Yes. Yeah, because if they were flat, you'd have had to put them on. Well, you'd have seen, with the flappy bits, you'd have seen just yeah, plain Yeah, if you weren't double sided with the flappy bits, or if you were going to have them flat with one side, you'd have had to sew them on ages ago Yeah. before you made them. So, um, now I've got two cut out. One has got bonder web and one hasn't. Right. Take the bonder web off. Right. One B, and then put it... On two B. Onto the other B. Right. And then match him exactly all the way round. Yeah, don't you get any? Uh, don't you get glue on Elliot's mat? Oh yeah. So I've got the bond web facing upwards. We'll be all right. I said, just got the iron. I've just got the <laughs> iron. <laughs> so that's the B. Now right. I did sew that together all the way round the edge. Right. Just to hold it together. Of course. Um, on machine. By the machine, I yeah. just very care. Or you could do it with a running stitch by hand. Mm -hmm. You don't really need to. They're not going to get a lot of wear, but I always like to after bond web because it's not permanent forever permanent, yeah. is it? No. Um, and then when you've stuffed this, put the stuffing through the middle and then the gravel or whatever you're putting in. And then when you put the bees on, put them on and then just do a couple of stitches. Oh, you put them on after you've stuffed it? Because it's easier to, to work out where they're going to be. Oh, okay. And it's really, e it's... Yeah, it's just, and it is quite easy. I, I started it before, but it's harder to see what they're going to look like. So I stuffed it first and then right. I put them okay. on. And because it's all stuffed, you haven't got any danger of sewing through to the other side. Yeah. And then you just do a little stitch. Okay, so you've, you've, you've caught them at their head and yeah. at their tail. Yeah, you? and then it looks like they're flying. Lovely. So that's the beehive. And Jeff, what, have you got one going through the door? Oh, you got one heading for the door, heading. dive bomb into the yeah, door. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not very good at less is more, to be honest. If I'd had 25 bees, we'd have had 25 yeah. bees on here. So I just put them all on. They'd be quite nice with some sequins on, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. with some seed beads or something. Um, right, there was a very quick question I was going to ask you. The, the, the other things, the, mm. the, I mean, I know we're going around time, so I'll just ask questions. Then. On the coasters, you literally just get a backing fabric and a wadding. Yes, yeah, so with the through. coasters, you could, if you wanted, to use it for the front and the back. I don't know if I did cut them out somewhere. Um, you could, if you, if you wanted to use, just make one coaster and have the same on the front and the back, because they are exactly the same. Oh, yeah, but you want to use them both. But to maximise it, it's better to have them s as different things. Um, you just push them, to this, use, cut it out, use that as a template from another fabric and some wadding yeah put the this and the backing fabric right sides together with the wadding underneath sew it together all around turn it yeah. right sides out and it's done and then you can quilt it i quilted around the bee yeah uh then on to the uh tea cozy so i've got a quick question for you as well while you're getting that out loving the bees can i ask rebecca if she made the dress i love her fabric no i didn't i did lengthen it because it was a bit short oh okay so i put some fabric around the bottom okay i don't like my knees uh, laurie's saying maybe you could use fabric glue to stick the bees on rather than sew oh you them. could yes yeah and, good uh, idea Ellen's just ordered both of them oh thank you right so with the tea cozy on the panel you will have the front and you use that as a template to cut out the back and the two linings yep. Um, then on the panel you will have the binding strip for the bottom yeah. and the binding strip for the other side. So you sew that on, right sides together, and it will look like this. So you're binding, the binding strip goes on before yeah, you've so sewn it together or anything? Yes, yeah, so the binding, the bottom binding goes on first. Yeah. Um, when you've done that, you then put them right sides together, no, wrong sides together. So lining sides together. Yeah. 
and then you bind it all the way around the edge. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. So I cut my binding from one of the fat quarter yeah, panels. Yeah, it needs to be biased, doesn't it? Yeah, but so I cut it across the middle and I used one and only two strips. It was one and a half, really, and that will go all the way around because it's got that nice stretch yeah, in it. Yeah. So you just, when you come to bind it, fold the end under. Sew it together first before yeah. you do it, because it's um, <laughs> you could well you could sew it all in one, but oh, it no, starts much, moving yeah, about, doesn't yeah. it? So you fold one end under, and then I I would say that's got to it's got to come up to the edge, but stick it out little just a little bit because you want to hand sew those together, yeah. and then you sew it together all the way around, and because it's cut on the bias, you don't need to trim this; it will stretch nicely. Of course, yeah. And said, so could she put cork on the back of the coasters? Yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You didn't think of that one, did no. you? I suppose I you could just then top stitch them. You wouldn't need to do the turning inside out thing, would you? But how would you get rid of the raw edge? Well, you'd be fine, wouldn't oh, you? Pff, be I don't fine. mean the raw edge of the cork, I mean the raw edge of your yeah. thing. And then, just very quickly, how did you make this then? Uh, well, the B is really simple. You just sew the two, the front and the back right sides together, yep. stuff it, yep. do the same with the wings turn them right sides out and then you just sew the back on and then the um, little antennae just six strands of stranded cotton you just and then you just put a loop in his head yeah yeah to create the cube, the loop is sewn in when you sew this in but it's all in it's all in the instructions right. perfect brilliant now before i go through this just need to say i'm doing your mondays for june yes just because wreck is in charge of yarn lane she's doing a brilliant job and she just needed to catch up she needs to do christmas right i do i'm doing christmas so i'm doing her mondays which is very kind in of june her. but very july good. i'm back she's back i'm june. back in july yeah but so don't don't be thinking because the people are messaging going oh i was expecting rebecca and i just no. it's nothing there's nothing sinister nothing going no on. it's just i only have four days a week to do yarn lane and yeah. it's just getting bigger and busier and yeah. and we want to do some special christmas shows so i'm also so Tell them, not me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody think I would know how to do this? Yeah. I forget all the time. Also, um, I'm looking for new designers and new people and companies and products that we can bring on air. So um, if you know anyone... <gasps> Do you know knits, don't you? Adam from this year's Great British Sewing Bee. Great British Sewing Bee. Really? He does knitting. Okay. So I'm looking for people who can come on air, people with interesting products, new ideas. So if you know anyone, just message me. Oh, how do they get in touch with you? Well, they can just put on the fan page. The Join fan the page. Yarn Lane fan page, because I get to approve everyone, so it's really nice so I can see who's there. But just send us a message. Oh. If you know someone or a product that's created or something that's really interesting that you would like to see on Yarn Lane, then let me know. Because I'm always yeah. looking for new people. Yeah. I really? like Yarn Lane. It's a really good way of showcasing these little, little designs No, no, it's brilliant. But we, well. some days we need more than two hours. Well, I'm not trying to make your, make your job yes. even harder. But some days we're just getting into it. And then it's like, oh, got to go. I now. know. So it'd be really nice. You know, the only way that I can make this grow is to spend a bit more time on it. Yeah. So. so that's the only reason that I'm... Yes, but very kindly. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, no, it's fine. It's for fine. doing I my couldn't Mondays. Do it. I couldn't carry on doing, doing it. It was very good shifts. on Monday, though. Oh, thank you. Oh, so you can... Yeah, I know I might not come back in July now, do you? Never so well. well, maybe I could just do some of them for you. Oh, that would if be there's nice. a guest you think I'd be good on, then oh, I yes. could just come and do that. You I? could, actually. Right. Shush, we're into Jules Zaz. Very quickly. Right. So, panel and instructions, exclusive to Sewing Street, designed by Rebecca Reed and Amy Gaunt. Gaunt, Gaunt yeah, Gaunt. Um, make five different projects, and the fabric for all projects are on that panel there. The front of the tea cosy, the front of the cushion, and uh, the... Um, Beehive doorstop and the coasters and the little bumblebee there, which you can make into anything really you wanted to. £24.99. Now, if you think a normal pattern for a, for a doorstop is normally cost you £19.99, you're getting all those other things in as well. £24 and the whole of the panel with everything on it. Totally not exclusive to Sewing Street uh, by Amber Makes. So that's £24.99. There we have this, which they're calling a fat quarter panel. Are these just the biggest fat quarters you've ever seen? I mean, you get four of them. Whether you're doing amber makes or not, this is a lovely, if you love bumblebee fabric, they're huge, those fat quarters. And you also get across the top some uh, quilt labels and things like that. 100% cotton, totally exclusive. We had hundreds of them this morning. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, very, very popular. The, the reason we've done it it's because so many people were asking about when Rebecca's done a, a project in the past. They go, oh, it's a shame you haven't got the fabric. So she's done it this time for you. 
Right, in the break, we'll put the zips, we'll put the thread, we'll put anything that we haven't shown you uh, oh, through the break. Because we have to go now, because look, we interject. I'm surprised she's not here shouting at us. Jules is doing a quilt as you go in three minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well. So that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. It's been ages. 
Uh, since we've done a quilt as you go, full on proper quilt as you go, hasn't it? So this is lovely to do this one, a quilt quilt. Because this, this, or Jules will explain to you, this is one that you don't do the whole thing. Janice has done like a bag and like the placemats and everything. This is one where you do each block at a time and then sash them together. This one is called your rolling stone block. Now, this isn't available on its own. It comes with a bundle. So have a look at the one that Jules made for us. There you go, that's one that Jules made for us and she made that one from this colourway that you've got here. So what you get is you get a metre and a half of your sage green, no, your chartreuse. You get a metre, oh, that's nice, I've never seen that before. That's gorgeous, isn't it? It's what? Is it a stuff, flowers in the wild, it's called, by Stoffer Fa Stoff Fabrics. It's lovely, I've not seen that one. So, because looking at the picture, I thought it was the shadow, you know, that when we yeah. did a shadow. Anyway, metre half chartreuse, metre of the blue, and then two fat quarters. What? Oh, again, look at that one. Is that from the same range? Oh, I won't be able mm. to see that. And then you get this one here. Now, that's not plain. That's our, um, that's the one I call splodge. Is it called mixer, that one? Yeah. Mixer. So you get metre and a half, metre, fat quarter, fat quarter. That's your bundle. Plus, plus the quilt as you go. Plus the quilt as you go, £37.99. pence. Isn't that brilliant? So that's one colourway. That's the colourway that Jules has already made. And then the one that she's about to demonstrate is this one. So in this one, you get a metre and a half of your dark teal. You get uh, one metre of your lovely geometric. Now, I recognise that. It's what? Motor? Mm. Okay, and then you also get your... Now, that one... That one is plain, lemon, that one. And then isn't that lovely? Dwell in impossibility. Is that the one with the quotes from, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's this one. This is the one you're going to see Jules making now. Lovely, that colourway, isn't it? And then I've got one other colourway, which you won't see Jules making or anything. You get a metre and a half. Now, I'm not sure if that's white or ivory. I think it's ivory. Then you get a metre of your green floral. And then you get a fat quarter of your rose and a fat quarter of your rose. That's colour rose and that's got roses on it. So you won't see this one being made up. Now, you will need some... So this is, this is all you could go. You will need some fabric to put on the back because obviously as you quilt to go, you're, you're making your sandwich as you're going along. So you will need some fabric as your uh, backing. But chartreuse here. This is a metre and a half, isn't it? Yeah, metre and a half of chartreuse on its own. Now, you might want that for some other project. It's fine. You don't have to have bought the quilt to go for this. Right, the people of you who've bought multiples, they don't come joined together. So it will come. If you buy two, you'll get three metres of fabric, but it'll be two pieces of one and a half metres each. And there are two left of that. That's all. They've been flying out in pre-order. Then teal which is lovely, beautiful. I call it petrol. Now, on my telly here, it looks navy blue. Isn't that weird? On, on the telly in front of me, it looks navy blue. Remember people have bought multiples? Well, this one will go with that bundle because it's the same fabric look. And the chartreuse would have gone with that bundle because it's in there. And then this one here is your ivory. Just handy to have in your... Right, now this is a different colour to what's in my... S now, stop, stop. So that's cream. The one that's in your bundle is ivory. It is slightly different, just so you know. Just so you're aware of that. 9 99 And 505 spray. Just for you to put the back in. It, it's not 100% necessary, but whenever we show 505 spray, people come in and buy it. And, um... Five and five spray, there you go. It's temporary, repositional, fabric to fabric. So if you're making your, your quilt or whatever, uh, quilt sandwich, uh, it keeps it all in place. $7.99. Okay, Jules, sorry. It's quarter past already. I know. <laughs> go on with it. chatting. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, are you going to show the what's in the kit, the, um, the picture of the kit? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Right. This is where the confusion arose this morning. So this is the kit that we have been sent, right? And we looked at this front picture here 
And look how the quilt as you go looks on up mine, right? It looks like a big star, like a big cross, doesn't it? Like a big kiss almost. Then you look at Jules's front, front or what Jules has made. It's exactly the same, but doesn't it look like the star? It's the star that becomes the feature and not the kisses, because it's all to do with placement of the fabric. Just, just throw me that, I'll throw it back to you. But. So look, 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 right? So this was the front of Jules's packet. And that was the front. I don't know which packet you'll get, but that and that are exactly the same. It's just different placement of the fabric. So don't, don't freak if you see this one come through <laughs> your door and not that one. Basically, you could get that one, you could get that one. Fret is the word I meant, not freak. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Right, All be right. quiet, John. Let Jules get so on let's with it let's put now. that over there. Yeah. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to cut out your backing because this is the, the kind of whole point about the quilt as you go. So if you, um, it tells you the exact dimensions, but it's a 16 and a half square, which you put on the reverse. So when you... Can I ask a question? Yes. When you open the packet, do they come individually? No. Have you cut those out? Yes. So these are all joined together. They're joined as a six. Yeah. And what you need to do first of all, sorry, I missed that. Step no, 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 no. Right. Just, uh, um, you just need to, uh, so can you see there's a blue line here? Yeah. You need to cut about an inch all the way around. So um, you'll do that for all six. Right. So you kind of have a little production yeah. line going. So once you've done that, the reverse of that is um, fusible. However, having said that it's fusible, I found that it didn't fuse terribly well. Oh, okay, right. So you might want to fuse it and then possibly use your 505. 505 right, um, yeah. So the first thing that you're going to do is just make sure that the fabric goes over the top. Make sure that you've got the blue lines facing out. So that's like your right yeah. side. And this is the right side. So you want the wrong side of the batting and the wrong side of the um, fabric together. Yeah. And then literally just kind of iron it down. I'll do this quite quickly. Yeah. But, um, so that when you're sewing, you don't really have to worry about what the back's doing. Yeah. Um, and then you sew through all of it. So you'll make a sandwich right from the beginning. Yeah. And then when you've got the blue lines on the front, the reason I'm pressing and not ironing is um, because you just want the glue to be melting. Yeah. Um, when you've got the front piece, that's where you start to do your placement. Right. I'll do the placement in a second because there's another bit of pre-prep that oh, you okay. do. Uh, so if you have a look on here, um, where you've got these edge pieces, you'll make that unit, um, so all of those units, and then you'll extend it on two to make that unit. Right. So on the pattern, I mean, this is why you need to read the pattern when you, because inside, the when you open your packet of this, inside there's all the... Um, there's the, all the instructions are in here and everything, yes. the pieces that you have to cut and everything. Read that before you do anything at all, because it might show you on here, there are dotted lines on the batting. I don't know if you can see that from there. Some of these lines are dotted. That means if the line is dotted, they're the pieces that need to be made before you start making the block up, yeah. isn't it? And you'll see definitely on here, you can't see through the plastic there, yeah. but you can see on this one, which is the one that I've used. Oh yeah, yeah. And it gives you information about which fabric is, is which. So on my initial piece, um, I needed to do it as close to this, although I went off piece, because that's yeah. me, but do it as close to this as possible. So I actually put down the colours that I wanted, and then I could reference them to that. Oh, so okay. you'll yep. come up with your own way of doing mm -hmm. things, but that, to me, is how it made sense. Um, so yeah, you'll have all of your pieces that you will have cut. The other thing that I would recommend is you're cutting three and a half inch squares, and you're also cutting four inch squares. Oh, right. Have a label, mm -hmm. <laughs> because otherwise you might get um, confused as yeah. to which is which. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you won't get confused, but I would have done. No, no, no. <laughs> when they're that close, you're bound to, yeah. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your four inch squares. So we're making, first of all, we're making these long units. We're making these ones. Right. So we'll do that first of all. And these are what they call half square triangles. So... What you'll do is you'll place two of them together of different fabrics. So the ones that you're going to use on your star points at yeah. the edges. And then what you'll do is you'll take 
your friction pen or any other marking system that you care to use and you place your ruler diagonally, you only need to go one way. Right. So mark from the middle out so you don't pull your fabric. There we go. And that is not your sewing line. That's your reference point. Right. So what we're going to do is sew a quarter of an inch seam either side of this line that we're marking. We've got special rulers on the show tomorrow. To, they, rather than just using a straight edge ruler, it's one that marks the sewing line as well as your dotted line. As Perfect. You. So if you haven't got that, what you'll do is you get your quarter of an inch foot. It's fairly important to keep a quarter of an inch seam consistent. Okay. So if you've got a quarter of an inch foot or some other way of marking with tape or whatever, then that's fine. So you'll sew either side of the line that we've just marked. Now you can do a bit of piecing if you want to. Mm -hmm. Or not, as the case may be. There we go. So mark one side and then we'll mark the other side. and then other side of the line and this is quite good because you're making uh, two at a time obviously uh -huh. and then we what size will stitch are you using uh, 2.4 okay When you're going through a few layers, you perhaps want a bit longer, but that yeah. one's fine. Right, and then you will cut down the mo marked line. So right, grab your so you've sewn quarter inch either side of it, and now you're actually cutting on it. Yeah. Is that your rotary cutter? No, I am. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's half just inched it. I, I have, I love the, uh, the other rotary cutters. I have uh, issues with that one. Um, this is quite useful if you've got hand issues. Yes. Because you, you're pushing down, For not a, a different angle, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So if you've got things like carpal tunnel and yeah. the like, then it's really I useful. I need to practice more with it because you can twist it to three different shapes. Yes. You can have it at three different angles, you can't go you? Different I need ways, to yeah. practice more with it, I think. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to press these open and then we trim them down. So press to the dark side, it wants you to do. Uh huh. So I press on the opposite side. Then grab my dark, hold the dark, and push straight across. Okay. And it's that it's the opposite way you think, you think you're going to do yeah. it, isn't it? But I usually set my seams first, as they say. Yeah. And don't worry too much if they look like they've gone completely askew, because yeah. we're going to square them up. And okay. I'll show you how to square them up. Oh, yeah. when we hurry. Stop Cat's being loving this colour way. It's really nice. I think it's, uh, is it something like um, Art Nouveau or something, does it say? Is that what the pattern is? Because it looks like flames on it. The fabric is called, oh, there's nothing written on the salvage. I thought I, I could be it, Oh, it is called Nouveau. Yes, because it looks like the that. the Dwell Impossibility range. So now what you want to do is you cut these down to three and a half inch, hence the other one being a three and a half yeah. inch. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So on this ruler, which is a creative grids one, you've got the three and a half inch line marked and you've got the diagonal. Yeah. So set yourself up so you've got the diagonal on your diagonal and then move it across so you've got, it's within the three and a half. So make one straight edge. It's literally just trimming down, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oops, wrong oh. bit. <laughs> I'm yeah, altering the angle. It. Yeah. <laughs> Alter altering the angle of it. So trim down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton, that one, and then line it up along the diagonal again and make sure that you have got three and a half eyes in. So you do that with all of them. Yeah. How then, did you make them? So it's, is it? Oh, it's production line. I think uh, there are four sets for each for each one. Four, three, so 24 of them you make mm. then. Um, and you can, you see on that one there, the, the um, 
sample. One that one. sample that I made, I went off piece and did a different colour. That's one. quite nice. Also, you, you you do get six in yours at home. Yes. You don't get four. You get six. The reason that I've only got four in there is because I had two to save for doing my samples with. Of course, yeah. So. She just what she's doing now, making excuses why she didn't make <laughs> six at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that you're going to do is sew them together. And you can see this is where we're getting the kind of triangular bit yeah. there. So we'll sew those two together. So you're making the flying geese, really? Yes, aren't you? yeah. yeah. Um, so they'll look like this. So that's what they're going to look like. And mm -hmm. then the next thing that you'll do is take your proper three and a half which are those ones yeah and the next thing that we're going to do is make two units so i have two units like this so there'll be a the top and the bottom and then we'll have two units which will have the corner stones on right so corner stones are just the corner pieces of your quilt so what you'll do now is line up Again, a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. on either side. So, so this is more than just uh, this is more than just quilt as you go because it's you're actually doing real piece. Not the quilt as you go isn't real piecing. You're no, doing but real you piecing before you actually start doing your quilt as you go. Yes. So it's actually quite nice because it's taking the pressure off, but it's still allowing you to practice those skills, yes. isn't it? So. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll just do um, two of these and then that keeps me, I've got enough of everything then. So that's the first side done and then the other side. So you keep two as they are and the other two you're adding corn, the cornerstones on? Yes. That's one and then that's the other one. Okay. We're nearly at the point of putting everything together. Uh -huh. uh, the other thing that I didn't mention, which I have used on these, is I've used my best press. Right. Okay. Or if you've got the June Taylor Savvy Start, yeah, I think yeah. she calls it. That's um, somewhere on a ship between here and America <laughs> at the moment. Um, and the uh, best press, as soon as Kat put it on the website this morning, it's, it's gone. sold out. Yeah. So when you can get it, that's really useful to get two reasons. First of all, it makes your fabric a little bit more stiff. So uh -huh. it's a bit more, um, you can get the seams more accurate and it's a bit more manageable. Uh, and secondly, well, thirdly, because it smells nice. And yeah. <laughs> Unless you get the scent free one. Yeah. That <laughs> but also it stops your seams fraying yeah. so much, which can be useful as and well. And also when you start going on a... A quilt to go, you can't get the iron anywhere near the right side no. of the batting. So it means no. you can f uh, finger press a lot of it. Or your it? clover. Or your clover press. See clover that tomorrow. Is That's also in the show. Uh, tomorrow. On tomorrow. <laughs> See, you should be on tomorrow We're as well. We're <laughs> <laughs> So if it sells out tomorrow, it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing that you'll do, and on here, um, which you might not be able to see, but they're all numbered. So this is where your painting by numbers are. Yeah. So on your diagram, you've got the numbers, and also on your fabric, uh, yeah, you can on your see batting, it really clearly, yeah, from um, the camera. you've got your numbers on there as well. So we set off with the first square in the centre, and all you'll do on this one is pin this one down. So if you can find where number two and number three are, yeah. pin where number th uh, four and number five are. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, well, it'll so be now you're just placing that right sides up yes. to start with. Yeah. So everything now has got to face you because this is the front of your work. Right, so okay. nothing else goes the wrong way up yep. uh, to finish. Obviously, you're placing it like that. Yeah. So we've already cut that. I think that was a four and three quarters square. And then you're cutting, you cut a three and seven eighths square in half. Right. So it started off like that, two of those, and then you cut them out. So now, all of the solid lines are placement lines. They are not seam lines. Right. So kind of chain, shift your thinking. Yeah. You need to place it along the solid lines and then stitch a quarter of an inch away. So right. a quarter of an inch is the important thing uh -huh. to remember. So on here, I've got my solid line there. Yeah. 
So I'm placing, if you just imagine, it's a bit like foundation piecing. So you've got to have enough room to cover it. So yeah. don't be distracted by things that have happened underneath. You are just going on that line. Make sure you're accurate to it. Yeah. And then put a couple of pins in. So I am pinning now. I don't want it to shift because it's quite important that you're particular. Yeah. I say all of this and then it shifts. And yeah. I go, oh, look at that. <laughs> that also, it's not. important to go in the order <laughs> yes. that they say, isn't it? Yes. Now, you can do two and three because they're opposite to each other. But you can't do, oops, crack that. You can't do three and four at the same time. It doesn't no, work. So no. two and three together. But you know what? It, it says in the work um, running order of what you do. And also... Um, it, it just makes sense on what you've cut out. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to do a quarter of an inch seam to secure that. So whilst I'm sewing that, it goes through to the back. So anything that you sew now will be seen on the back yeah. of your bit of block. So you might like to think about that in advance and choose a backing, so a shuttle thread that either complements or stands out however you want it shuttle. to be. Shuttle? Bobbin. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, no. <laughs> Not as old as you. No, all right, all right, all right. Rub it in. Not far behind, though, my love. Oh, well, no. <laughs> but no, I'd known it could shuttle for years. Sorry, that's my grandma for yeah. you. <laughs> well, your grandma's machine will have had a shuttle in yeah, it instead it of a did, bobbin. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I quite often I'll say material, because we, we didn't call it fabric. Yeah. And I'd say wool, because we didn't call it yarn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, you can't call it wool, can you? Because no, you there's Trace so many mixtures and everything. Yeah. But when it was, it was only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so... So I'm hoping that my quarter of an inch foot is my quarter of an inch foot. And this is quite handy because it's got like a little guide on it, this quarter of an inch, which is all right when you're going on the top. Not so great if you're going against the seam, but all right when you're going on the top. So what you'll do now is you'll press it back. Yeah. Clover finger or finger. Or clover. <laughs> and then pin it. So you're pinning it out of the way. And the reason that we put the pins there and there is because I didn't want to go over them here. Yeah. So... There you go. So that's your first two sides. We'll do the next two as well. Yeah. So again, I'm now going, looking for the line here. I just like to make sure that I'm kind of in the centre. And then the pin that was underneath, I'll use that to pin this one down. Okay. And that's what um, you tend to do with this. You, the pin that's underneath is the one that you use to transfer on top so you yeah. don't tend to pin and sew through your pins right. and make sure you've got a good light for this yeah. so we're fine in here but if you if you're a midnight sewer oh yeah Claire from Nating Lighting's in soon isn't she yeah. what day is she in 18th 18th at 8am Claire from Native Lighting's in so she'll have some good products. I think we had one on the other day, the one magnifying one. Yeah, brilliant. I've got two at home. They are brilliant. What I like is that you can get the daylight yes. uh, bulb part about it. Yeah. Which is particularly useful if you're doing sewing, but also if you're doing other crafts where you need to colour match. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, OK, so we're nearly at the end of this one. Yeah, Elliot keeps telling us that our studio is daylight, apparently. Better put, put the sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> get my fact to 30. Oh, yeah. If they were sunlight, we'd get like lovely bronze while yeah. we were working. <laughs> Wouldn't have to have that fake tan, would we? Right, yeah. there we go. So, again, press that back. Breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. So, you can see how that starts to come together. Now, the next bit. Just be careful. Right. Go for six and seven, which are your these blocks. The little ones. Do not put them the other way up. I'll tell you why. Because you did. Because I did. Just to test it out for everybody. Yeah, yeah, of course. You have of to course, do it. of course. And you'll see on this one, it's a bit on the wonk. Right. So it does make a difference. Right. Where you put it. Okay. I'll put that over the top. Yeah, I wonder why that was on there. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you put the two little ones on so first. So the two little ones go on first. Yeah. So you've got a six and a seven, and that's where they go. Okay. Remember, you're going along the um, uh, solid line. Yeah. So that's your placement line. And these are the star points. So you want your triangle on the outer and the star points on the inner. Okay. And obviously, I've done it this colour way, but you've got two uh, fat quarters yeah. in there. So you can mix and match for the, the centre and the outer if you want to. It's entirely your call. Uh, so. But you need to use the... You need to use the colours for... The bigger... The, the, uh, the orange, the orangey one in yours, you've got to use for the ones that you're using it for. Yes. And then the teal, I'm presuming, is for the yes. sashing, is it? Yeah. Well? So the only ones that you can swap are the fat quarter yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now you've got a centre seam. There's mm -hmm. a dotted line which is equivalent to the centre seam. Yeah. So that's one of one point of reference. And then the other point of reference is the straight line that goes across. Uh -huh. So if we pin that down, I'll pin my centre seam first just in case I'm pulling it around. And by doing it that way, your point should work, she says. So we'll pin that one on there. I think what I'll do is I'll just do, I'll just complete. Um, one side. Actually, I might have to do that one as well. I might have to do both of those, but okay. I, can do, I can get away with doing just one of those because yeah. I think I want to try and show you the um, sashing if we can get yeah, to it. Yeah, that's okay. So again, we're quarter Well, if of an you inch carry on sewing, yes. let me do. Let me do the if because we're we're you're just saying straight lines. You don't need to show anything. Yeah, else I'm doing exactly Mojo. the same as I've just done. Yeah, there. perfect. All right. And then if, as soon as you need to go to your next day, just shout and I'll stop and then we'll do it. Cool. Okay. So recap, recap, recap. The one we're working at the moment is this one here. So you do get your quilt as you go. You get a meter and a half of the teal. You get a meter of the nouveau. Fat quarter and fat quarter of the other two. All of that for £39.99. The one that the sample's made from is this one. Beautiful. It looks like a swimming pool, doesn't it, that one there? So you get a metre of your chartreuse, you get a metre of your blue, you get a fat quarter of that gorgeous, these two, I've not seen these two before, fat quarter of your gorgeous yellow one, and then your splodge one here, you get a fat quarter of that as well. 37 99 that one. And then vintage roses is the last one. This is here. So you get ivory, metre and a half of your ivory, you get one metre of your green floral and it's fat quarter of rose and you get the fat quarter of ivory with roses printed on it. This is the most popular. <laughs> one you've not even seen is the most popular. The Chartres backing bundle has sold out. Oh, actually, while you're also doing that, I've got some other, so I'll do the teal one first. There you go, nine ninety nine for a metre and a half teal fabric. And a metre and a half of cream is the other one. Now, it's not cream in the bundle, but that's your um, cream there. Now, I've got two other or three other um, quilt as you go. So if you want to try something else, let me just put that there. I've got this big bag to start with, which is insulated shopper's tote it's called there it is i'll put it down for you i can't remember when we did that one we back in the old studio apparently that yeah. before i came to work oh, here there you go. now do you get you get the base of your bag and you get the strap and you get the loops for your button there in that one as well 23.99 and that's what you can make oh sorry that's what you can make Gorgeous bag. Then I've got two others. I've got a bottle. Now, these are brilliant because, right, when Jill Rep from June Taylor was in, these, this is this, right? This is, there are three different wine, um, what do they call them? Wine carriers? Totes, they call them, I think. Wine totes. What the idea behind these is you make them, when you go to somebody's house for dinner or to a party or something like that, you take it in the tote <coughs> and then you leave the tote as a gift. 
and then when they do the same, they then carry it on and give it to somebody else. So Jill Rep made one for me in blue and white and silver, and I'm meant to pass it on, but I've never passed it on because I've kept it because it's so lovely. But you get all three patterns in there. So you get the one with the stripe across the bottom, you get this one with the squares going down the middle, and you get the stripey one for $14.99. You get three, three of those in there, and they come with bottoms. Don't come with bottles, don't come with bottles. That's your wine tote. And then finally, I haven't got this one to show you. We've got the uh, mug rugs, log cabin mug rugs. Now these were uh, over there for ages and ages. They named it. Elliot had to tidy up. So we have no idea where they are now. <laughs> there you go. These are so easy. Three log cabin mats. They're not even mug rugs, they're mug mats. Big enough for your mug and your biscuits. You get three in there. You do get three in there. Okay, back to Jules. Right, okay. So we're on the last long one now. And I was rushing, so I've shifted it, but never mind. Yeah. So your centre seam again, you've got a reference point on your centre seam. Just watch where your um, your straight lines are, because there's a another line on there, another dotted line on there. It's not the dotted lines you're following, it's the straight lines. Yeah. And then the seam lines, which are the dotted lines, you can follow them down to your seam. Mm -hmm. So just do a quick pin and pop them on. And then I'll show you um, the last bit. So we'll just quickly whip down that other seam. And the way that you do the sashing, you can apply this to any quilt. Okay. So although we're doing small sashing um, pieces at the minute, because it's, they're short pieces, mm -hmm. if you had to do um, a long row, you can still do this, exactly the same thing. Brilliant. That's what I quite like about these projects, because they're transferable skills, yeah. as we were saying before. Yeah. And the bag um, that you've just shown, that, although it looks complicated, that's really straightforward, because that's kind of all squares. That and that one, that the, the batting they put in it is um, insulated. You can put warm things in and cold things in yeah. and keep them warm more cold. So that's the point that you're at now. Uh, the next thing that you'll do is zigzag all the way around the outside edge. So I'll just do a quick down one side and then I'll cut off that side and I'll just yeah. work on one side. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, just so that it's easy. And on here, you've got little reference points at the top, um, like a squared off corner. Yeah, yeah. Those will become apparent in a second. Okay. The reason I only do one side is because... Oh, oh hello. Oh, needle's or broken. Not, no. No. Oh, ah, it's because you got... because I've got my quarter inch yeah. on. Oh, come on, Jula. Right, okay. Let's do a quick swap over. Jula? Jula. Oh, Jula. Are you a Julie? I am a Julie. And we're just jewels for artists. But I'm, I'm a Julie when my mum tells me off or did. Oh, not right. now, bless her. Um, but yes, so jewels is better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a bit longer stitch than that, I think. So all you're doing is um, going across the edge of the fabric and onto the batting don't worry because I know you're going to see this at the back but don't worry about that because it will be covered by the um, sashing that we're going to oh, put okay, on. Brilliant. So you're following the placement line here which is fine. Okay so go back otherwise we'll be. Uh, Kim yes you get the whole thing you get the whole thing you get the batting and the instructions and all the fabric in the bundles. <coughs> so the next thing <coughs> we're going Excuse to me. do is where you see the little cross at the top, yeah. that's where you're going to measure half an inch from there. Right. So let's do that and cut all the way. I know I've only got a small little ruler. You could have the big oh, I know, I all of your hanging things are all in the way. I that's why. Yeah. So it didn't matter. This is what you do at home. Well, I don't know. Perhaps other organised people don't do this at home. But oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> if I haven't got it to yeah. hand, I use what I've got, and yeah. then that's what we'll do. Okay, so all the way round, you'll be cutting off the surplus batting right. and backing, yeah. and you'll be making a half an inch seam. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Then we'll have the other one that I did, 
Oh, which I also didn't cut down. Right, okay, fair enough. What are you muttering about? <laughs> Not as prepped as I thought I was going to be. Oh, but right, no, okay. I'll just cut that. So just to show you again what you want to do. Oh, you thought you'd already trimmed it yeah. down. <laughs> it was a bit late when I was packing my bag last night. I was still, um, I shouldn't tell you, I suppose. I was still making, I think, that Debbie Shaw one I made in about an hour yesterday because I'm thinking, oh, I haven't done it yet. Oh. <laughs> so what you'll have is your two half inch seams cut much better than I've just cut them. Yeah, of course. Um, and then you'll take, so you'll have some pieces that are two inches by 14 inches and then you'll have some pieces that are three and a half inches by 14 inches. Right. So the three and a half inch pieces, you need to fold over, wrong size together, and just press them. Right. That's all you'll do. Okay. Um, the next thing that you'll do is take a marker. You've got your half an inch line on the front, but on the reverse, you want to mark half an inch. Right. I'm going to go with this line because I haven't got a light pen and um, because of time. Yeah. But what you'll do is... This is going to be your sewing line. Right. So imagine we're going to have this like this. So raw edges going this way. Yeah. And then we're going to sew down. So we've we've secured it to the back is of the that, Sorry, is that the folded one? So this is the folded yep, one. Yep. The two raw edges are the folded yep. one. This is going on the reverse of your work. Yeah. So you're going to pin that with the raw edges facing the raw edges, yep. okay? So we're gonna pin that down, and when you pin it, pin it so the pin ends are towards where you might be sewing. Right. Um, hopefully we won't sew through them, but that's where you need it to yeah. be, because you don't, if you've got the patterned end on there, you're gonna be breaking your needles and stuff. Yeah. So just pin it all through, so it's secure, so we can, we don't have to worry about that. Now oh, we've got it on that end. So now, on the front side, you'll go right side to right side, and again, you'll place the raw edges down. Right. Pin through there as well. And this way, it doesn't matter where you pin. You can pin across or up and down. It won't, you're not gonna worry. So now, I think she tells you to sew half an inch. I think. Yes. Oh no, place half an inch and sew a quarter of an inch. Oh, okay. So what you're doing is not there then. Sorry. Use right. that use the half an inch line that you've just Right. <laughs> measured from. Measured from. Not like I've just done. So yeah. half an inch again. I need to swap the back one. Sorry. Take two. So where you've measured your half an inch, yeah. place it you're on the You were right in the first inch. place. You did yeah, that. I know. You did I know. that to begin with. You need to follow your gut instinct sometimes, <laughs> don't you? So this is a pinning practice. It's because I don't like pinning, isn't it? Is that I've made myself do it twice. Yeah. Right, okay. So, and then pin along the front. And then what you'll do is you'll sew a quarter of an inch there. Right. I'm just going to pull these across so I don't want to sew yeah, too Yeah, you don't want to catch your pins. And then we'll take it across. So, quarter of an inch in again. And don't worry, uh, I mean, yours will be trimmed down on all sides. Yeah. So, um, it, it won't look like this, but it, it'll make sense when you get home um, and get and do it. Right, there we go. So the next thing that you're going to do, just take those off of there, because we're going to attach it to the other side now. Keep the one underneath. So if you imagine that we've now got to go to the right sides of this side, 
So this is the next one we're attaching it to. Uh -huh. So that has got to be attached to that side. You see what I mean? Yeah. So it's almost going kind of rolling over. Mm -hmm. So right side to right side still. And you're placing it on the half inch line again. So we're placing it here. So right. at this point, it will be easier for you because you, you've got it cut to size. But yes. at this point, you need to just make sure that you've got the bottom edges and the top edges lining up yeah. properly. Otherwise, we'll be In the all mess. over the place. <laughs> well, we'll be unpicking, won't we? Yeah. And we don't like unpicking either. So at home, you will take lots of time. Do it properly. This is not going to be level, but you know what I mean. You know where we're going with it. Mm -hmm. So we'll quickly go down here. And then comes a bit of um, hand sewing. So again. Quarter of an inch away from that seam. Or the edge rather. Yeah. If this lines up, it'll be a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey ho. Yeah, but as you say at home, you'll have trimmed all the other bits. So oh it'll be yeah, you, to you'll see be doing it properly. Learning, yeah. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> near enough. All but right. there you see, it encases your um, raw edges and your yeah. um, zigzag. So yeah. you're not going to have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Then on the reverse side, so where we've got this nicely tucked away, that butts up there. If you want to trim that off a little bit more, you can. But don't take it all off. No, 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 because no, this is um, this is going to be your padding, yeah. really. And then you take that over. So now you can see where your previous stitching lines are. Yeah. Take it over far enough so that you'll whip this, whip stitch this together. So if you just pin down. So there's hand sewing to do on this as well. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's um, kind of minimal, really. Yeah. Oh. So go all the way down. And so you just whip stitch yeah, all the way perfect. along there. And then you've got longer pieces to, to do, do exactly the yeah, same yeah. thing. So you do exactly the same thing. And then the final bit is you'll have your binding that you make just as we normally do. For around um, the edge. Around the edges, round and so around. Why do I need a metre and a half of the teal then? Because if you're going to use um, the sashing strips, by the time you've done all your sashing strips. That takes up your metre and a half, does Yeah, it? that and... And the you, binding. And also, if you look on here, I've used um, that one. Oh, So yes. rather than using that one... So if you mix and match it, it's yeah. like you've got enough to do it, but you haven't yeah. got enough to do the back, but you still definitely need to buy your metre and a half piece for the back. I think yeah, you would. You yeah, okay, I don't perfect. think there's quite enough. Got a quick message from Trisha saying, hello, John and Jules. I've learned so much from Jules. I've done piping and said, so it. Now I'm going to do quilts you go. Great demos. Thank you from <laughs> Trisha in Surrey. Oh, well done, Trisha. <laughs> when are you in next? Uh, uh, to it, 23rd. 23rd, I think. 23rd, 23rd. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Thank I'm only you. rushing because we have to run to the, the Yarn Lane studio now. Yes, bless. So uh, what do I need to recap? Anything? The one that Sample's done from first is this one. So you do get your quilt as you go. And then you get a metre and a half of chartreuse, you get a metre of the gorgeous blue, you get a fat quarter of the lemon and a fat quarter of the um, yellow pattern one there. All of that, plus this, 37.99. Right, then the one that uh, Jules are just making is this one. Metre and a half of your teal, metre of your nouveau and your two fat quarters. And this, obviously, 39.99. And the one that's most popular is this one. So you get a metre and a half of your ivory, a metre of your green flowers, fat quarter of rose, fat quarter of ivory with rose printed on it, £32.99. Right, I've got to very, very, very quickly recap the early bird from this morning. This is fantastic. And then what I'll do is I'll share, I'll tell you, I'll give you the menu before we go. £3.99, £3.99 with special price. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm getting one of these. This was on 8 o'clock this morning. Beautiful, isn't it, with that lovely palm tree leaf? Pe Rebecca Reed's not happy because it was bought in for something for Yarn Lane and she um, isn't happy that we've got it on Sewing Street, but there you go. 
Any hobby, it's fantastic. Three ninety nine. Right, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu very quickly. Who's going to yarn lane now? Wait, it's me tomorrow. So we've got Homewood Fabric Collection at eight o'clock. Oh, nine o'clock we've got Portsmouth Pinafore with Rebecca Harrison. Ten o'clock we've got Top Tools under twenty pounds, which is where all those things that Jules has been talking about will appear. Eleven o'clock we've got the Esme Tunic with Rebecca Harrison, and then Jane Brogan. I haven't seen Jane for years either. In fact, have I seen Jane since I've been back here? Sewing Machines with Jane Brogan at twelve o'clock. Right now we're going over to Yarn Lane. Uh, if you've bought something from me this morning then uh, your P&P is already covered for Yarn Lane. All of Yarn Lane is on pre-order already uh, and, and things are going very quickly. So I'll see you in four minutes time. If you're watching on the telly, stay where you are. Don't you walk across that camera shot now, <laughs> Jules Moyoub. Um, if you are watching on the telly, you'd be absolutely fine. If you're watching on YouTube, the Facebook Live or the website, you do need to go to the Yarn Lane versions. I will see you in four minutes from now. <laughs>